Yo, what is going on, everybody? We're back for part two of, well, stream challenge. Well, viewer challenge from you guys. We did part one yesterday. We were farming some buckets. We got about 30 some odd buckets yesterday. And the challenge is, well, a lot of different things. <laughs> yeah. Woo, different stuff we got here. Uh, let's see. Let me bring it up here again. So we got the start of this video every day. Okay. For all those YouTube homies, we're doing uh normal mode. No loans other than the first max loan, which we already got through that. No drilling, no renting, no workers. We're playing on a one X DLC, no fast travel, no large fuel tank. And we're only allowed to switch the speed of the game to 12 X for smelting. That's the parameters that we're playing at. Other than that, we're just chilling, kicking back, hanging out. If you're not, if you're watching this later, make sure you guys come on over to Twitch, hang out, do all that good stuff. But yeah, we're going to get into this day today and we're going to keep on rocking. Come on into chat, say what's up. And uh, yeah, man, yesterday was absolutely amazing. You guys were super generous and I really appreciate all those gifted subs. That was awesome. Randy, Hop, Snippy, you guys are beasts. Drew, you guys are amazing. Madre, Big, let's see, Creature, Jaywa, Hop in the chat today so far. Welcome guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me close that. Let's answer some questions here real quick. Buckets for days. <laughs> we, I caught it. Let's see here. First time viewer, man. Big, what's up, buddy? How's everyone doing? Doing great today, bud. I have a question. I purchased uh, Nighthawk and did not lease it. All the squares are coming back. Drilling at minus 40 foot and 16 ounce. Are you on? Let me guess. You're on console. Not much, Madre, dude. Just getting my coffee. I'm getting this whole start thing started today. We're going to be digging for like eh, about six hours. Maybe eh, five, six hours-ish. That's what we're going to get going for. We're going to be doing that uh, all week long. Monday is farm sim. So Monday, I think we'll be doing farm sim. How am I been? Doing pretty good, man. Yes, PS4, he says. On PS4, currently at the moment, drilling is bugged. It's a luck of the draw whether or not you're going to be having some issues with your save or not. Um, I know the devs are fully aware of it at the moment, and they will be working on hopefully getting a patch out for that sometime soon. Yeah, it's uh, it's bugged out for sure, man. Been a while since I caught your streams, dude. Well, I wasn't really streaming too much, so... But uh, I'm back at it now, dog. Have no fear. Splitting two is here. We're good. Let's get this cable out of the hole. We got to move some of these things around today. We're going to try to go for about 70 some odd buckets. So we have a long grind today. Long grind. We got a floating box here. Can I pick up these cables? Yeah, there's just some issues with the drilling and they're a little delayed on the console patch. So we're going to make sure we get some work light so it's not so dark. The ground, the ground is, is good. It's just that you're getting a false drill log because of the bug that's happening. So it's just the problem is, is are you getting a correct reading on where the gold might be good? And that's an issue. If you're on old Arnold, it's real easy because you can just dig everywhere. Some of those other claims literally have no gold in them at all. Like, because it's overburden, like an overburden square, right? So that's the difficult that's the difficulty when you're mining on a on a claim like Pine Valley, where the gold is good where it's good, but it's crap where it's crap. Right? So because the gold runs in, in hot spots and stuff like that, and it would throw out the claim, you know, aka cuts. You caused me to load my hard save, curse you. Curse you! Dude, gotta get them hard mode saves, bro. Let's go ahead and turn that off for now. Throw some stuff over here. Did I really just stack those on top of each other by chucking them? Badass, damn. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> like, what? They're just stacking on top of each other, dude. Gangster. Well, rip for that. 
when I got to T3, so that the game is over. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what it is, right? Like, the gold stacks so much in the game that once you hit T3, it's like GG over mode, right? Like, oof. Oh, well, that's not gonna... That's not gonna work, right? Like, that's why I put so many weird parameters on myself when I'm playing, because, you know, the game... The mid section to the late, late section, if you're a good player and you know what you're doing, it's pretty much over with, right? It says on the map squares, all the gold is 40 to 60 ounce, only square, only every square is gold. Yeah, you're kind of screwed then, man, because if every square is gold, that's not true on Pine Valley. I can guarantee you that's not true. Um, it's going to be spotty, right? So there's one thing that you can do right now as a console player. And the thing is that you can do is you can just role play it where dig a client, dig out a, a bucket, right? Do a cleanup and be like, okay, I got shitty gold, man. It, it wasn't good. Then go somewhere else and do another cleanup. And if it was really good, just kind of hunt your gold down that way. We used to have to do this a long time ago on PC when things were a little buggy. And it just, honestly, it made for a really good play style. Like it, it, it felt better than like, it just, it's, you know, like you had the, you had the chance of going broke. You know what I mean? Like now it's like, when you know where the gold's at, you're guaranteed to get gold when you're there. Um, you know, so just kind of go hunting, you know, go looking, go looking for it. Yeah. Let's see the gold, the gold is in the ground grinder. What's up, buddy? Watch the vaporware gold game. They were so proud of the code. A little panning for gold pumped. I'm gonna say a little nugget of like randomness. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, Nighthawk's pretty easy because a lot of the a lot of the squares are in the same locate. A lot of the, the cuts always like in the same area, right? So. Like when you're looking at the gold map, we'll bring up uh, Nighthawk, right? Most of the time it's all dead gold here. There's nothing up here and your cuts kind of like right here. And then it kind of, there's like a dead spot normally right here. And then it goes up into this little finger area. If you look at the, if you look at the claim, it's like a thumbs up, right? So up in the thumb where the waterfall is, it's generally good in this area. There's normally, like I said, a little dead spot in most of the cuts. Then there's like a big cut here. You're okay if you're going to be digging in here and you're on there, but the problem with Pine Valley is, is that they're, they're really defined cuts in here. Like, right. So you have like a strip here and then you'll have dead spots and then you have like a strip or a cut, you know, could also be a middle finger. Yeah. So as you guys can tell today, we have uh, transcoding on. So that way you guys shouldn't be buffering as bad if you guys are on like the phones or stuff like that. So just make sure you hit auto. That way uh, you can get the best view today. We got lucky with the transcoding today. It was automatic right off the bat. It's first come first serve um, as far as that goes. So I'm just gonna cross my fingers and when I hit go live, I get transcoding. Uh, I'm not a partner, so partners get first dibs on transcoding. So it's kind of a, it's something we have to deal with. How do you tell if you get transcoding? Uh, the little cog wheel at the bottom of the, the thing will allow you to change the, the resolution that you're viewing at. Now, as a streamer, I can just, I can just look at my own stream. I hit start stream and I can just see if it's there or not. If it's not there, I have to start and stop my stream until I get it because, well, you guys have just been lagging so badly, right? So it's, uh, that's really hard to watch when you guys are just lagging. You know, you want to hang out, chat, or just even just listen, right? and be a part of the conversation. And I know a lot of you guys are at work. You got a lot of you guys are chilling. You know what I mean? Not much, just just lurking and digging, bro. Hell yeah, man. Let's say we're kind of doing like a play along, man. Just kind of hang out, chill. This is a normal, get me back into streaming some Gold Rush. I'm really busy with Gold Rush right now, so I want to be active in it and doing what I got to be doing. And Wish I guys wish I could tell you what what's coming out, but uh, holy shit, boys! Let's hope it's soon, because you guys are gonna be stoked. I think you guys will be excited about this leaderboard. Do 
don't tease. You and Matthew love to tease. Oh, we do. <laughs> yeah, I had a big smile on my face when I woke up this morning. I'll tell you that much, boys. So. Things are coming, dudes. It's gonna make you guys scratch your head because it made me fucking scratch my head this morning. I'll tell you that much. I I I just almost scratched another bald spot in my head, dude. <laughs> Did they say when content's coming? No, they have not. They haven't even fully released the content for like me and Matthew and stuff like that to test. So we're still waiting on that phase of development. So whenever that is gonna happen. Let's hope it's it's soon, right? A lot of people are hoping for a Christmas release. Um, pff, who knows, dude, right? Like, it could be, it could not be. We don't know. Like, honestly, we don't know. I don't even think they know. Because they're just in the middle of everything, right? They're trying to, they're trying to revamp... Uh, leaderboard mode to be tuned better so they've literally taken everything I've said and changed everything so that's uh you know to a certain point and they're trying to they're trying to get all the, the stuff fixed from last season that was supposed to work last season but had issues so that was a massive overhaul to the game um so what what features they bring in we don't know quite yet um I'm sure they'll before the leaderboards go live they'll let us know Just want a smooth release, dude. Well, I can tell you one thing. Me and the homeboys are working on that to make sure that it's as smooth as possible. We are we are working a lot. Not only, So not only am I streaming Gold Rush, you know, five hours a day, but I'm also testing Gold Rush as well at the same time. So, and we have a Tesla truck at the moment. Woo, Cybertruck! Yeah, like, I can't leak anything about the new build, but it's, uh, yeah, I think you guys, I think you guys will like it. Like, I'm not competing in a leaderboard this season, or probably any seasons from that matter on. Uh, I'll probably be playing them just for a skin, but it's not fair because if I test it, I know everything in advance. I can build the strategies beforehand and stuff like that, and it's just not fair. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna play and chill, right? And. I like your current lack of crashing into invisible stuff. Dude, I didn't even know I just drove to town, dude. What are you talking about? We're just here all of a sudden. 24 more buckets. Well, we need more than that. We need like, we need like, we need 50 buckets, okay? We won't do a cleanup until... Oh, we gotta unload the pad. Gotta unload the pad, dude. Bruh. Then we're gonna go for a whole nother one because we gotta fill all these up. Then we gotta fill a whole nother set of these up. So we gotta get these two twos, T2s running today so we can just kick back, chill, drink, chill, drink this coffee. The game's running nice right now. Yee yee. Maybe just give the testers a skin. I don't know. I'll talk to him about it because I don't, I don't know. I, I personally, how do you guys feel about that? I mean, let me just ask. If I'm testing current builds, do you think it's fair that I, I I compete for a skin? Just be honest, it's okay. If you don't think it's fair, it's fine. Like I'm I'm on the fence with it because, you know, I, I think that uh I mean I would get a skin regardless, right? I mean that's let's let's put that out there first. Like if I play, I'd get a skin regardless, even if I didn't like know the build. Exactly. You still have to dig. You know what I mean? But it would let me 
do my strategy off stream first and then get an advantage. It is an, it is an advantage no matter how you look at it because I would be able to know what's going on before it happens. Right, so... I just figured I'd ask you guys, you know, some people might just be like, no, that's kind of fucking dirty, you know, that, you know, bottle, bottle. I agree, maybe the tester should just get skinned so we don't even have to compete. I really don't have time to compete uh, at all anymore. And plus, I'm retired from competition leaderboards anyways. I only play for fun. So, but I wouldn't, I, I feel bad about taking a skin from somebody that, you know, is actually trying, right? And actually trying really hard. And maybe it's their first time playing leaderboards and, you know what I mean? Like... I just feel bad about it because you know there's someone out there that's working real hard and all of a sudden they're just like fuck well we know split hasn't played yet this month but then again everybody has to worry about that so <laughs> split are you playing leaderboards this month no sure whatever dude like that <laughs> <laughs> dude i know that's what i was thinking too man i was gonna ask him about that Right, like, why don't you just give, like, like, you know I'm going to win every time if I want, right? So, let's let's not, like, make it to where they have to compete against me and I can just showcase everything. I'm down with that, too. I'm down, I'm down with that, too, right? <laughs> like, I didn't even look, bro, what the skins were. Honestly, I, 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 I go for them, but I don't even look. I don't even look. <laughs> Grinder lol. <lulled. laughs> you know, every time leaderboards happens, the amount of DMs that I get is absolutely insane. Are you playing leaderboards? Are you playing leaderboards? It's like, these are people that don't even play leaderboards, so I know they're asking for somebody else. It's like, like, like dude, I'm, I'm going to stream it if I do, right? So it's not like it's a big secret what I'm doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> so... Grab that right off the bat, dudes. Why? Because you guys need light. If I'm working in the darkness a little bit. Looking at the truck, I don't think you have enough buckets. Well, that's all I need to be able to hopefully get to tier three. So by the time this truck is full or these buckets are done, that's when we should be making that transition. So hopefully we can get that done as quickly as possible. Yeah, I just, I don't know, I, don't, I just don't think it's really, really fair for me to, you know, if I'm pre-testing things and and stuff like that, to really be uh, going hardcore. But then again, like I said, does it really matter? I mean, look at my track record on the leaderboards. I've been able to do what I want and when I want, and not like many can stop me. So, regardless of knowing what was coming out or not. I have fuel back at the, back at base. So we're not renting, so that means we have to outright buy everything. Are you okay back there, Amanda? You sure? It's not like you're choking on your coffee. I was like, man, it sounds like she's, like she's dying back here behind me. If I don't break the light stand, just getting it to the uh, the mine. Got buckets. Uh, I think I got enough buckets. Might not have enough though. Might need more.
spin, spin, spin. Yo, what up, Shane? I never have enough buckets. Nice. You guys having less um, issues with stream today now that transcoding's on? A little bit better for you guys? Not forced to watch in 1080p, 60 FPS? I want to watch it 1440. Well, I have to go back over to YouTube for that. Clear as mud. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's it's all based on your guys' internet connection, right? It's, it has nothing to do with me. I mean, my, my, I've never, I haven't stopped my, it's all the same, right? So I, I pump out exactly what Twitch allows me to pump out quality and everything like that. So that's all, that all comes down to you guys, but I, I completely understand what you guys were saying. You know, Hey, some of we can't even watch because it's just buffering constantly, right? Like, and the reason why is because you're being forced to watch a 1080p. Uh, because transcoding is, from what I did in my research yesterday, last night, transcoding on Twitch, partners get it all the time. And what transcoding is, is transcoding allows you to change the resolution uh, that you're watching at, therefore lowering the amount of data that it's taking to run on your device. Um, so if you have a lower internet connection or you're on a phone or you're on whatever. And, you know, so it, um, you know, it's... It, it's a bummer that the you know affiliates have to fight for it and it's random if you're going to get it on your stream and the last few streams i've done i just haven't had it on so uh today i got lucky the first time like it's it's right when you click start on obs and your stream pops up and it says you're live you can click on the little cog wheel and look and see if it has it or not if it just says source and that's it then you just turn your stream off turn it back on and cross your fingers right so Today I was lucky, it gave it to me right off the bat. Oh, this is normally not safe. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, my internet service provider even bills me for it. Lol, yeah, dude. Well, Thursday, man. We're getting uh, even more powerful internet, and apparently that has unlimited data, so... <sighs> Better. Like, if not, I'm calling them back and be like, dude, this lady scammed us. <laughs> like, the only reason why we signed up for this is because it says it has unlimited data. Yours and Lucky are the two people you watch it on? Don't have any problems? Yeah, my, I'm going, I got the, um, we got the, uh, was it the 1.5 is what we're going with? Yeah, 1.5 up, 1.5 down, pure fiber. Which that's just what, that's what we were on, which I, this is what I don't understand. That's what we were on originally. And when I first got the, uh, fiber upgrade box and now they're saying that like we need a new modem and a new everything but we already could handle those speeds so i don't understand why we need a new everything though tell us is shady though tell us is shady what they just did to us was bullshit, man we've been we've been valued customers for almost 10 years 
and what they did to us was dirty, man. It was really dirty. They didn't even tell us our package had ran up. Like, oh fuck, I need, I kind of need buckets, bro. You kind of need buckets in your wash plant, dude. More buckets. No, nah, Telus doesn't do that, actually. That's one thing that they don't do that everybody else does is uh, spy on your shit and tell you what you can and can't view on the internet. Uh, all the other guys do here. So that's one thing. That's, that's why we stay with Telus, even though they're kind of stupid a little bit. Is uh, for that fact alone. Like literally, if you're on the other company that's in town here, like, and you try to go to a website that they don't have, and they have it on their list, it will literally just block your internet. And then you'll have to call the company and explain to them why you went to a blocked website. Like, Daddy, I'm sorry that I went to uh, a bad site that I shouldn't have. Can you please give me my internet access back to the bedroom? It's like, dude, it's literally that bad. It's like, how about I pay for what I pay for and you fuck off? How about that? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I just think it's bullshit. Like, if I'm putting my computer at risk, that is my decision, not yours. As an internet, as an internet service provider. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not your decision whether I go to these websites or not. You can advise me and say, yeah, this website might be malicious, but not a straight up block and then block your internet until you call them to get it unblocked. That's absolutely absurd. Because the Canadian piracy laws are dumb. Well, that's why I go with TELUS is because even like, I just don't like the fact that, you know, Shaw and those other companies will literally just tell you like, hey, listen, like we're going to scan all your shit constantly. And if we find something we don't like, then we're going to get you up your ass. But TELUS doesn't do that. They leave it up to you and the, the company if you're doing something like that. See, we don't do anything like that, so we don't have to worry about it. But it's just the principle, right? Like the fact that they can control you is just absolutely stupid. See, they're going to have a really big problem with Starlink here soon because Starlink's not going to give a shit. What you do with what you with what you do with what your internet is all up to you and there's no data cap. So, congratulations. Starlink is going to completely rip the crap out of out of uh, Canadian internet companies and um, most companies around the United States too as well. People are just sick and tired of it. There's no reason to be monitored and there's no reason for data caps. It's absolutely stupid. Well, you're being spied on regardless. So if it's, I, I don't, it doesn't matter who is spying on you. Someone's always going to be spying on you as an internet company, right? Like, but dictating what you do is, is and spying on you is, is, is two different things. Right, so that's why I'm saying Starlink's gonna win because a lot of people are sick and tired of this crap. Lots of people are sick and tired of it. I'm silent on the whole spying stuff. Come marry you. Yep, spy's always spying. This underground network of gold rush spies always coming in to see what I'm up to. What's Split gonna do next? 
pretty much fall in a hole or something, you know. <laughs> you can't be a spy if they know I'm spying. <laughs> That will come later. <laughs> Falling in a hole. There's one thing I hate, and it's cleaned up the front of these claims. I'll tell you that much. Hmm, a bucket was a wee bit smashed into the dirt there. I'm not going to worry about getting that stuff over there. Got to catch up a little bit. Let's just put a little extra in that. Scraping teeth all day. And a lot of good my light does me over there, huh? I'm not even shining over here. You have to decide whether or not you're going to restart chaos or not. Oh, dude. Chaos is chaos is fun, but I don't know. I think the challenge modes are better. Yeah, I five starred the first one. Uh, I don't think he even gave me anything. But like the the challenge modes definitely give you stuff. They give you some awesome skins, man. Don't want to get out of this hog pan and get into some big boy toys. Uh toys. I just want to get out of this shallow dirt, man. Two buckets down. Yee, let's go. What up, dude? We back today, bros. Yeah, you guys were absolutely insane yesterday. You guys were popping off in chat, dude. <laughs> Randy came in swinging big dong on the gifteds. <laughs> freaking hop, freaking snippy. Absolute savage. Let's get that bucket out of there. Absolute savage, dude. Digging that gold. Yeah. Need to 
Oh, God, dude. Don't hit the back of that truck with all those buckets in it. It's going to be like a freaking Tomahawk missile hitting the truck. Buckets are going everywhere. I do not want to pick those up. Well, buckets stuck in trees, man. Man, let's curl this in. Ooh. Can we just get him in there? Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, we gotta move that truck. Howdy, Zan Dogs. How you doing? I don't know why I just said your name like that, but whatever. Howdy, Vanny! <laughs> Howdy, how? <laughs> You're like, how much coffee has he had today, dude? Only four cups. No, it's just one. I haven't even started this one. Yeah, so the video is now on YouTube from yesterday, so that way that VOD will never be deleted. So if you missed any of yesterday, it's all on there. It ain't going nowhere, it's just chilling now. They're on the YouTube land forever now. That is what you call a glory hole. Oh shit, thank you Zanny for that dono, man. Because that's where money's gonna be, right there. <laughs> that money is in the Have glory an awesome hole. Digging day. Yeah, bro. I appreciate that. First dono of the day. Can we get some gold bars in the chat? We know there's members here with them. We got them. Buckets and gold bars. Let's go. Let's just grab what we can get here. It's mainly just keeping these uh these buckets rolling, right? We're in a weird digging spot, so. Ugh. Ugh. Goal! All right. See if I can back this thing up here and straddle over the, uh... I guess I can go back a little bit more. Yeah, let's just take this out. Actually, no, wait a minute. Nope! Don't do that, bro. Just crush the, the hose splitter, please. Alright, there we go. I gotta go weasel down on the side of there over here. Don't, dude, I'm going for danger mode, bro. Here it comes. Get ready. We're going to run over this. Let's see if I can weasel down inside here. Oh, dude. <laughs> Living dangerous today, dudes. <laughs> Got to get that gold. I don't even care about the gold. I just need the buckets. So let's get it, you know? The gold is what we need. We know it's we hope it's we hopefully it's in the buckets. But there's no way of telling because well we don't have drilling for we don't we're not drilling, so we don't know what we're digging in, so we're just going for an average amount of dirt and buckets. And we'll see what we have. So when that truck is empty and all of those buckets are full, we're gonna do a clean out. Normally it's around seventy normally it's around seventy five buckets to eight to hundred buckets to go straight to tier three if if you're buying everything outright, it's a little change, but I'm not doing workers, so I'll have a little extra money in, uh, in things, so 
I gotta pay 20k to get the extra piece of equipment onto the claim anyways, which would be the rock truck. Right? And then... All the pieces and all the transporting and the grates, mats. It's quite a hefty amount, amount so... We're hoping, we're hoping for three to, to six ounces in each bucket. But I'm not sure because I haven't played normal mode in a while. I don't know what a, an average bucket is here. So, <laughs> yeah, let's just go for it. <laughs> Let her rip tater chip, right? I just pretend like I'm playing Hungry Hungry Hippos, dude. And my wash plants just need to collect those freaking... Collect those marbles, man. Dude, who loved that game as a kid, man? I loved Hungry Hungry Hippos. Like, I loved Hungry Hungry Hippos, man. Like, I, I had a problem with it. Anytime I went over to someone's house and they had Hungry Hungry Hippos, man. Dude, I just... I just had to, dude. It was all about the hungry, hungry hippos. I think my nuggets have dried up too. It was clue for you. Two O for you. You're on hard mode though. Yeah, it's gonna be gonna be a lot more brutal. Give me my give me my bucket back. Damn, bro. Freaking angry bucket. Monopoly all the way. I couldn't... Monopoly was always a hard one growing up because, like, it took so long, right? It took so damn long to freaking play Monopoly. And, it, like, I grew up, it was Life, Hungry Hungry Hippo, and, like, Battleship. Right? Like, those were the, those were the ones we were always rocking. Didn't play life until you're in your twenties. Stop sliding. Stop sliding. Sit on top of the generator. Stop sliding. Similar to Monopoly. I guess in Canada it wouldn't be sorry, it's sorry. I'm sorry. Fall, fall, fall. Never. Never. We got too many buckets to dig for me to have to do the walk of shame with the hoe.
You're not allowed to say sorry. It's too American. Yeah, the, if they know you're an American, you say so sorry. It's just an insult, then, huh? Sorry. That's okay. I still refuse to say Z instead of Z. Or I say aluminum instead of aluminium. Stop being lazy and say how it's spelt. It's a weird the way Americans say aluminum. There's a second one. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, you filthy bastard! Let's <laughs> make people rage. It's okay. You can have your uh, zebra. Okay. I love when people try it's a Z28 for like cars and stuff like that. Dude, no. The makers of those cars would cry if you said that. Me and Amanda were talking about that the other night about uh, TV shows that you watch and then all of a sudden you find out like the main actor or actress is British and then you hear them talk for the first time in their <laughs> with their accent. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, what is his name? Damien Lewis? Dude, when you hear him talk, it's like, what? <laughs> like, what is going on right now? Like, bro, you were in Band of Brothers and shit, man. <laughs> Had no clue. Are he Lori from House? Bro, that was a shocker, too. I put that right in the way. What, what's going on about thongs? It's all about yoga pants, bro. No one cares about thongs anymore. Get those whale tails out of here, man. Come on, man.
Oh, come on. Hurry up and kick in there. That was a little sketch. I thought we were going in the hole. Ow. It takes a little finesse work on these plants to get them into place when you're trying to do them up these hills, but... This is gonna likes his thongs, bro. Damn right he does. Apparently. He made a song about it. The thong song. Bum bags. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy. I'm rubbing on the claim thing in there. Little safety rail thing. Yeah. Come on, boys. How's everybody doing today? Anybody, anybody do anything too, any crazy thing lately? Come on. Give me up. All them single ladies. Ah, uh, just fell in the hole. Rip. What the hell? You can't say piece of underwear? What the hell, Twitch? Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> yup, you can't talk about underwear, bro. Not allowed. What? Mobile wash plant jet has been destroyed. What kind of ass is that? You shouldn't have happened yet. Oh, wait, we're at 30 buckets. <laughs> North Woodsman, dude. Thank you much for the follow, dude. Welcome, welcome. You guys can talk about thongs and schlongs, but you can't talk about underwear. All right. That's a new one. All right. Well. Just randomly bothering prostitutes, man. That's not that's not nice. They're working. That'd be like asking them if they can take a credit card back in the day. And twerking. Well, let's do a looks like we're in parts check. They're working flat out. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. We'll just pull out the trusty Walmart scanner. How are you doing? 43, okay. You have 2%, that's 2% you could be working. Oh, that was the original wash plant, okay. 
That's why. 68. 45. All right, make sure we don't have no other extra parts laying around that we need. Yeah, we're going to have to replace them both. Let's go back up over here and take a look at this. Seventy-three, you're good. Okay, all right. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to town. Wash plants are down, boys. Boink. Shut her down, boys. Shut her down. Eat that bucket over there. Get this rolling here today. Dude, that thing's been running. It had 20% like 20 buckets ago. <laughs> like, it's barely using anything. Alright, where are we where are we going after this right here? So we have we'll finish this off, right? I should just keep chomping back. All the way back here. Just take this whole thing out. Let's get it. So I'm going to dump the buckets over here. Avert your eyes. Can we do it? No! You should have the dump truck feed the plant again. Yeah, normally I'd just do that, but I'm not going to do the truck dump. The star No, get off the truck. What the hell? Yeah, avert your eyes. <laughs> Don't get motion sickness. Don't do it. Don't stare at the screen. We have to go get ourselves a bucket tower. No, we don't need a bucket tower. Because that was that was pretty much uh, 48 buckets we just brought back. So plus the 30 something we already have should should be enough. Plus we'll probably get another 50 or 60 ounces of nuggets before then. So take my fuel trailer also. I I'm that thing's half full. I I, I haven't even used any fuel yet. I'll get it on the next round going back to town. Ugh. So bouncy through here. Gotta love the ah shit! Damn it! As I say, you gotta love that M2 drive, man, with how fast those loads are. Bloop. Okay, let's go ahead and 12x this setting game. 12x apply. Oh, 
all those buckets away, get a new hole ripped in it. Oh yeah, we're gonna rip a hole in that beast. I only need one bar smelted anyways, just for repairs. If I run 20 large generators and one electric pump, I'm <laughs> environmentally friendly, right? No, terrible. Mm -mm -mm. The duck just the the duck ripped you off, dude. I got scammed by a drunk bear at a game farm though. Apparently, you have to give him three pieces of bread at a time before he does, he, he waves at you. And, well, I only gave him one piece of bread, and he didn't do anything. Then I gave him another piece of bread, and he didn't do anything. And I gave him another piece of bread, and he didn't do anything. Because you have to give him three pieces of bread at one time for him to wave at you. So I got mad and just threw the whole loaf of bread at him, and then he, the bear kind of went, and then, then, he woke, then he waved at me. So, it wasn't a duck, it was a bear, so. Kind of fucking goddamn bear. Then they find out they give the bears rotten apples so they get drunk. And then they just wave at people all day for bread, so. Yeah. Fucking bears. That's what I was looking for. Brain fart. <laughs> I told the story a bunch of times, but dude, we were at, the, we were at that game farm and we went through the, uh, the, ex the exhibit where they have like the drive through part of it and Amanda was dangling a loaf of bread out the back of the car, the window, and we couldn't figure, well, we, well, we, I was sitting in the front, my buddy Tucker was sitting in the front, like two can, um, and we were, <laughs> we were going through the game farm and we were like, couldn't figure out why the whole herd of animals was chasing us, like, and following us and our car only. And Amanda was dangling loaves of bread out the window. And then as soon as we stopped, because we got stuck behind this little Prius, we just got surrounded, man. Then we got tongued by buffaloes and bisons and everything, man. It was just... Amanda, no, Amanda, Amanda rolls her window up and then we're sitting there with our... We, I could How are you going to roll your window up when there's a f fucking buffalo stuck his head in there and he's trying to tongue your butthole? Like, damn, dude. We got mauled. That was so gross. Yeah. <laughs> so gross. It was so bad. Fucking bison and buffalo and just, dude, ugh. Auto mod bullied you? Because you could, it said hard and sucks you. That's what you said that doesn't like. All right, we got some cash now to buy some repairs. <laughs> All right, spare parts. Oh, we probably don't need the the reinforced spray bars. We don't need that much more after this anyways, so we replace the one, the other one will be replaced in 30, and then we'll have one extra, so. Oh, 
Oh, I know what I'm gonna do, though. Okay, we gotta start this now, though. Okay. <laughs> if we come to town... We're not leaving without a fuel tank. <laughs> As you guys said, I can't have a big fuel fuel pump or a fuel container. Oh, we'll get that on the next trip of town. That'll be the clean out. After all these buckets are filled up. Yeah, that'll be the that'll be the next uh, phase after we get all the buckets we need. Just gotta get us back up and running, and oh god, don't read chat. I got oh god, oh god, I can't get back out of control. Holy crap! That was sketch. Whew. There's one other thing I gotta do. Oh, uh, which one are we running, dudes? Volvo or the WL? Spam it, chat. Let's go. WL for all. All right. It seems unanimous. Wait, did we go back to 1x or 12? Okay, we did go back. Okay. Whew. Valcro! <laughs> I, you know, I haven't made a mobile wash plant yet. I have in here, man. Do I have any? Okay. Volvo is so sexy. Riding in a little style now. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, the, the, it did turn out good. I mean, I think it's hilarious that it's like the number one copied skin when people do. Like, if you look at everybody else's templates, you can you can see they exactly used mine. They just changed the colors and changed a couple, like, words or letters and things like that. Like, as soon as I came out with that color scheme and, like, the pattern, it was just ripped off immediately. And then after that, it started the big trend of skinning and like a few people different people right like hey whatever man you know what i mean it doesn't bother 
it is what it is. It pissed me off at first, but it's like only because people were, were directly taking it and then reposting it as their own. Um, but hey, you're going to have that, right? I mean, I mean, I got, I got messages from people that did it and they were like, you know, oh, I didn't know it was going to, if it was that big of a deal. And it's like, well, yeah, you're taking credit for somebody else's work and not saying anything. Right? Like, that's the only thing that bothered me, right? It's like, you know, it's like you're taking credit for somebody else's work and, you know, you're not even saying thank you or anything, right? Yeah, big fuel tanks not allowed. I'm only allowed mobiles. Talking about the skin thief? Yeah. Well, I mean, who didn't do it, right? Look, look at all of them. I mean, go back and look, and look, you can see everybody copied mine pretty much. Like, everybody took that template and literally ripped it off. That's why, if you look, all the, the things that are painted, they're all painted exactly the same as mine. Because, you know, they were like, oh, well, he already... He already did everything, all the work, hard work for us. So now it's like, oh, okay, I can just go in there and rip his off and then copy pasta mine over the top of his. Right? So, hey, yeah, whatever, right? Fuck it. That's why with this truck, if you've noticed, nobody's been able to rip it off because everything is all inlaid in, like all the layers in, in the artwork, right? Like the beveled ghost flames, all inlaid, shadow layered. Go ahead and try to rip it off and copy it. The only thing you're going to be able to do is change the color of it because you'll be able to just change the saturation and stuff, but that's it. So... My first truck, the, the 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 fire truck. Yeah, I see a lot of people use that one. Lots of people use that still. That was for um, some some hell divers jumpers that I had that, that that were viewers. Their wife was like, "Hey, could you make a truck? They're getting ready to go down to the Australian fires and and uh, go down there and fight." And they're 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 smoke jumpers, right? So we did that. We did that truck for them. What's up, bun? How are you doing? Let's check this over here. Yeah, mapping out all the screws and like the pistons. Like you can even tell there's little wobbles in the paint. And even on theirs too, that's like that. They never went in there and tried to fix any of that stuff. DK, what's up, bro? You're still sad the Pinewood sold? Yeah, I was... A lot of people were looking forward to that skin. Um, just because of the pure amount of detail and stuff. And it just... Like, when I really... When I when I leaked the picture of the... The boom arm, people just freaked out, dude. Because it was all inlaid, wood carved, wood wood burned, red lettering, and... And stuff like that. But somebody offered me a, a pretty, pretty penny for that. And I, you know, just... Trying to make money and stay afloat and stuff. It's you know, I'm gonna gonna make money where I can, right? So Yeah, all my all my skins are on stream, all the WL skins and everything like that, they're all there. Red, black, and white themed.
The new skin creator? Yeah, that's all I use. It's, I mean, it's not like a skin creator, but it's mainly just a uploader Gold Rush has. You still have to create the skin on some other program and stuff, right? The only problem is, is that, you know, if we had the 3D model capability to paint on it while it's in 3D form, it would be so much easier. I've asked for the, I've asked if they could release and release them to me. So that way I could put them into blender and, and paint them up and then and take the UVs out and then put them on into the game. So that way they could just, even the lines could even be more crisp and stuff. But they told me flat out, they were like, no, if we did that, then you know, we kind of want people to, we kind of want people to have to struggle a little bit to make the skins. We don't want them making skins better than us. And I was like, well, you know, I mean, I can still replicate them pretty damn well. But like, we kind of want it to be a challenge, and it's like, okay, well, that's awesome. That was kind of the point of the flames, because I kind of do like the the retro flame look. I do like old pickup trucks that have flames and stuff like that on them. That truck actually was supposed to have flames. Um, not flames, but it was actually supposed. I was actually gonna do. But can you even see him in this one? Hold on, let me look here. No, this one doesn't have it. So this one actually, I was going to do uh, ghost skulls underneath the layer of flames. So the layer that sits behind here was supposed to have, uh, well, I was going to do skulls, like, but this red looking stuff here. So this was actually supposed to have skulls, and then there was the flames, and then, you know, then then this was supposed to be on the inside. But that's how I was going to originally do this truck. But then I ended up going with um, this, like, washed material looking. Now, I do have a Window Licker 2.0 skin for the excavator that does have inlaid skulls and is red, black, and white like this. I ditched the, the little monster, monster uh, scratches and all of this is inlaid. Like if you looked at, uh, a, lot of people, a, lot, a lot of people have seen Vileborg skin that I made for him. And um, yeah, his skin turned out really well. Matter of fact, do I, let me see if I have the, the files for his, I need to show you, let me take a look real quick, dudes. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba take a look, one second. I do, but I'd have to uh, upload them to the to the game, then run over and transport them. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll be there in two seconds, girl. Is that still a tier two wash plant? Yep. Yes, it is. We're running double tier twos. Until we get about 70 some odd buckets. We have 50, about almost 50 buckets here. And we have 30 buckets plus over there. Almost 40 filled already. 
So we're going to fill up. Once all those are full, then we're going to do a big cleanup. And we're going to go for the uh, tier 3 wash plant. Yeah, Vileborg skin was, was definitely a Gen 2. Uh, as far as my artwork and stuff like that goes. These that you see right here, these are just Gen 1s. These are just finding uh, what every little piece is and, you know what I mean, and getting a skin out, right? Like getting a good template, right? And trying to find something that looks kind of cool, you know what I mean? Between the pistons, the collars, the hydraulic lines, the, the holder, the facets, and stuff like that. And like the bars and stuff, that's all this skin really was. The skin series was only just a template for my Gen 2, Gen 3s. Uh, the only Gen 3 that I had that, even, that you guys have even seen was the partial um, 2x400, right? That was all the wood grain, wood inlaid, and everything like that. Those were all 4K textures that I downscaled to, um, to the game, right? So, and made it to where it looked appropriate and... The 2x400 skin took me about 300 hours to complete. Because of how long it took me to line everything up. Cold digger, the fat ass girl holding the shovel. Uh, I do have a... A work in progress. It's not on any piece of equipment yet, but I'm working on the actual, um, the actual concept of the panels and stuff like that. Like the, the scheme, it's, it's, it's black and it's, everything is gold inlaid and like gold leaf writing and, and everything like that. I was calling it the gold, the gold rush master series set. So it'd be the large X, small X truck, drill, dozer, every rock truck, the whole thing. So all matching. So everything is black and then gold lined and then gold leaf inlaid and then stuff like that. So, all right, I'll be right back though. Two seconds. Here. I gotta help my wife with something here. Already, yeah. Amanda's only five four. She can't reach things out of the cupboard.
I can relate. I'm only 5'6". Damn, dude. The thing that sucks about being tall is you always smack your head on things, dude, like low-hanging flower baskets and shit. <laughs> um, 's while we can. all these buckets Those in your chair, man. Gonna bleed you some lurking. All right, buddy. Enjoy.
enjoy. <gasps> Don't do it. Don't do it. But I wanna. <laughs> Don't fall. Don't fall. You be behave yourself, wash plants. Alrighty. Toss these over there because we know we're going to need them. Yeah. Dirt everywhere. I got Joe Dirte.
cutting dirt hard, dudes. Gotta get these 50 buckets done quickly here. Get away from this wall face. It's causing me to have some issues here. I don't like this wall face at all. Keep them both filling all day long, boys, all day. Going into the night shift. Okay, I'm all settled in for the long dirt push. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah, man. We're just getting warmed up, man. Got the night shift going on here. Night crew's on. Double pumping these buckets, so we'll get them done a lot faster than we did yesterday, so. I think most of yesterday we were in the small excavator, right? So now we got the big boy running with two wash plants. Thirteen ounce nugget, baby. work boys whoa whoa dropping dirt all over the place don't understand you're gonna watch dirt all day <laughs> it does boggle some people's brains they're like really is this this is what's entertaining you right now they gold just some dude digging I know it's it's uh, apparently it's oddly satisfying people people actually say I'm more like ASMR than uh <laughs> you know what I mean like bro this is this is therapeutic 
We love virtual dirt. God, I hope it ain't ASMR. Get all this dirt in here. Scoop for you and a scoop for you. Lots of hours to go. Just gotta keep a good rhythm, good pace, double cut on each side. Start tearing up some ground. No matter where it's going from. At this point, it's just wherever I can get the double cut pattern going in. Do the step technique. So I can don't have to move the plants as much. And just keep pounding these buckets. It's kind of hard to do the step technique when you're up against a wall. Oh, and you're dropping gold into the hole. Oh, yeah. Good job, buddy. <laughs> it's just gonna annoy her. No, I don't do that. I'm going straight to the big screen. We do have lights. I forgot about that. <laughs> hey, I forgot we have lights. What do you know? Oh, whoa. Beautiful.
over here. Up a little bit, down a little bit, out a little bit. get turned okay turn it back this way So I'm not worried about like cleaning the claim perfectly, mainly just getting the buckets in. It's mainly just upping that bucket count. You know, so hourly bucket rate is what we're looking for at the moment. They're just sliding right off the top. I wonder what that is. It's causing that. Maybe I'm not a uh, rapid fire bucket monster. Maybe it's just I'm not dropping it from high enough. Could be what it is. all day long Scoopy scoopy. One way to get the hose out of the way. Damn right, man. Just pick that damn thing up and move it. Well. brand of water hoses that's made out of Kevlar. It's Trojan made, dude. It's for old Arnold's protection. Thank you. 
it's even ribbed. Oh gosh, that was a mess. Yeah, man, we were blaming you for everything, dude. How dare you? Oh, man, just slaying buckets, dude. Slaying buckets. You didn't, I need to put my curl on the, uh, the outer. I'm lazy. Bucket up. But you want you want some dirt here? There we go. Nom 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 goes the wash plants. Yeah, man, they're they're chugging, chugging that dirt down. Got to finger feed those little hungry hungry hippos. Almost said finger those hungry hungry hippos. Those poor hippos. I used to take pride in my claims and my cut walls and being clean. Nah, I just don't care. Someone just walked by the window, Amanda. Someone coming? Oh, okay. One nice thing about where my office is positioned, I can actually see when people are walking past the the house to get to their front door. I like see the shadow walk by. Yeah. What's that? What is it? A taco? Oh, shit. Is that all it is? What else did you get? Oh. Oh, shit. I've got me a taco bowl. For lunch. 
Oh, baby. That looks good. Oh, shit. Yeah. Pico de Gallo. Mmm. What else? What has this got in? It's got rice. There's a chicken one. Chicken. Got some onion in there. Got a little bit of like cabbage and stuff, man. Oh, shit. A nice fried crispy bowl. Oh, baby. Uh-huh. That's for a little bit here. All right. Yep, we do have a break coming up, so. Yeah, we got a, a free gift card to Uber Eats, so. Amanda was like, I got something coming for you. I was like, well, well what? <laughs> How much was the gift card? 50 bucks? Damn. Freaking internet company actually did something right. <laughs> oh, homemade lasagna, bro. Mmm, lasagna. Don't even get me going about lasagna. We've had hour long discussions about lasagna. It is my favorite food. Homemade raviolis, dude. Nice. What are you putting inside? What are you, what are you filling them with? Not a big fan of lasagna. Now you've gone and done it. Don't be hungry. <laughs> We're just going to favor one wash my hair. Depending on what you want. Oh, I thought maybe you might have like an idea of what you wanted to put in it. Grinder's like, dash damn it. I gotta go raid my cupboard. <laughs> Put those in there for now. Bucket. Bucket. Ooh, nice. Just three blend. <laughs> fighting words. <laughs> Them be fighting words, bro. How dare you talk shit about lasagna? Well, if we didn't have such a giant cable mess over here, I would just keep digging right here, but... Hey, what do you know? Probably need some buckets in there. That would help. So we're going to move over to the other side and just chomp out a bunch. Then we'll move them back. Oh, the bucket pile is getting smaller. This should take about six buckets out of here. We got to move. Hoss is your, your favorite choice.
homemade tiramisu for Christmas. I don't know what we're doing for Christmas this year. Really haven't made up our mind. Like, are we just staying home this Christmas or? I'm not sure. We're not sure yet. Whoever just moved that light can kiss my ass, bro. If we do stay home, we'll be streaming, though. We'll do a Christmas stream. Christmas boats. What's up, Bubba? Yeah, I'm not sure. I we don't we don't know yet. We haven't decided whether or not we're we're taking off for Christmas or depends on how much of a bitch everybody's being. It's true. It's very true. Now we thought about staying home this Christmas, just kind of like hang out and stuff but like I said we, we'll, we'll make up our mind later on we'll let you guys know still got quite a bit of time till then okay we're in good position now to fill up some dirt Amanda Bubba, you skipping out of work again? Well, it's it's uh it's later for him than it is for us right now. Bubba's on maternity leave. Okay. Wait, 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 what, Shane? You've ne- wait, you've never had a turkey? Did I just read that right? Shane's never had a turkey? What the fuck? You won't have one this year with the shortage. Damn. Dude, that's 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 crazy to me. The do, do you have, but then again, yeah, you're you're in a different part of the world. That it's not normal. That's not maybe not a normal thing, right? Cooking what wrong? Wait, what? Super dry? Just, just we're not cooking it wrong. My turkeys are always really good when I cook turkeys. She's just talking about in the past. That's why she doesn't like it. My what the hell? Are you saying my turkeys are dry? Mine are always not. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, I see how it is then. This fucking goddamn bro. That's fine, fine. We're getting lasagna all the time now. No more turkey for you. Okay, I see how it is now. That's it. She comes in just bagging on me all of a sudden. 
You make a dry bird? Not that I know of. I, that's why I'm kind of shocked she said that. Mainly talking about her mom's, but... No, I know how to cook a bird. What the hell? She's just not a fan of turkey because she got abused by dry turkey when she was growing up. So now she just thinks all turkeys are dry. Regardless if they're not. I go with the small turkeys on purpose so that way they cook faster and they're not dry. I don't like the big, giant, big, big ones, dude. They're just too much can go wrong in that period of time. But deep frying a turkey is the way to go. If you've never had a deep fried turkey, you have no clue what the hell you're missing out on. Like straight up, never had a deep fried turkey. Whoo, holy. You wanna know the trick to getting your turkey to not be dry? Cook it breast down, dude. Like who cares what the appearance looks like, right? It's gonna get carved up anyways. Cook the damn thing breast down, dude, in the juice. GG, easy mode. <laughs> ah, that's a that's a winner right there. Pretty simple. Cook it breast down. Who cares what? Like I said, who cares? Who cares what it looks like? Unless you're specifically going for a centerpiece on a on a table, right? But that's generally why the turkeys dry out is because everyone's trying to make them look like super presentable, right? But nah, dude, hell with that, man. That's how you end up getting a dry ass bird and that's stupid. Deep fried turkeys, man. That's where it's at, man. It's just not normal. No, it's 100% the way it should always be done, bro. Once you've tasted it, you'll probably never want to go back. Like it's, there's no, there's no comparison to it at all. Like you can't even, you can't even justify it with what it, 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 you can compare it to. With how different it is and how good it is. And they're easy to cook, yeah. You just gotta not be stupid. You have to know what displacement is. <laughs> right? Like... Hold on, let me put this giant bird in there with a whole full thing of oil. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm just injecting... Dude. Butcher it into parts and cook it. Yeah, I've had it like that too. That's also good as well. Uh, sectioning it and then cooking it. Some roasted potatoes and carrots and onions and stuff, man. It's good shit. And not to put it in frozen. Yeah, that's true too. Christmas day is usually like 90 Fahrenheit. Chicken, ham, salmon, garlic, prawns, shrimp for Australia. Shrimp for Australia. But yeah, like I was saying, you guys, you guys eat different things, right? So it's a turkey may not be your, you know, if you your guys' area that's that's you know like that. So I can I can understand that. I mean, we know you guys eat Vegemite, so we already know you're weird in that department. I can't believe you guys just eat that stuff. I, I, well, hold on. I can't bag it because I've never had it. So, I've never had it. actually had some yesterday morning I know you've told me a million times but you can say it again how do you normally have it okay if I was to have it what would be the best way for me to have it if I've never had it for the first time isn't it just salt and vegetable protein So like a super thin layer of it over over buttered toast. It's from vegetable extract.
just get an em an emu is actually really good, man. I've had that before. It's actually really good. Okay, so like an ultra thin layer of it, like super thin, to where it's like it's almost like you're just trying to scrape a little bit on. Gotcha. Little bit goes a long way, then, huh? Someone's walking by the window again. Like buttering toast. Okay. I don't know where we can buy it here locally. We might be able to get it here locally, but I'm not sure. I think we have some in, our, in the food aisle that does all, they have international food aisle. And I think they might have it. I think I've seen it. Now I'm down to try a lot of different foods. I'm not really like picky when it comes to food. There's one thing I know I will not try and that's that Stroman shit. It's like fish diarrhea or whatever. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't happening, dude. Mm -mm. Not happening. Yeah, I probably butchered how it's pronounced, but yeah, we're not doing that shit, dude. What? <laughs> Amanda, what the fuck is this shit? This is a paper straw, fucking turtles. Stupid turtles. You can blame Greta Thornburg for that shit, dude. Like a bitch. Just because one sea turtle had a fucking straw stuck in its nose 10 years ago. Greta Doucheberg had to ruin plastic straws for us, okay? <sighs> Bullshit. How dare you? How dare you? Come on, easy, Tard. Calm down. How dare your parents let you out of the basement and talk like that? Taking away my plastic straws. Bullshit. Rabbit's actually good. I like rabbit. Especially rabbit stew. It's, it doesn't have a lot of flavor to it, but it's it's good in stew. It's it's I think in stews it's really good. Rotisserie as well, you know, if you do a really good season on it and you rotisserie it, rabbit's not bad, but stew by far is the best way I've had rabbit. Rabbit cooked in bacon fat. Yep, you got it. You de that's true. You definitely have to use a lot of fat. You need to you need to substitute some fat because rabbit's extremely lean. Right, so. Alligator's great. Snake is good, too, as well. Paired women love trouser snake. Good eating. Amanda, I wonder what sea turtle tastes like. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> really liking and hating those plastic or paper straws, huh? Kangaroo's good eating. Snippy. 
dude alligators common where you live how do you how do you how do you like it then man dude i just had it just deep fried bro like battered and deep fried like beer battered oh dude it was so good it was amazing same as frog legs dude frog legs are really good too man You've only had, it's chewy. I heard that if you have to, um, like smoked kangaroo is really good. Like long, low, slow, so that way you can like, it tenderizes it. You can't hit it with high heat. It has to be low and slow. That is the best way is fried. Yeah, that's the only way I've had alligator was um was fried like that. Brisket in the microwave? What the fuck? What kind of challenge do we got here? The challenge is let me actually uh, bring it up here. I don't I don't actually I always forget it. The challenge that we're doing is how long can I dig before I eat this taco bowl in front of me? No, <laughs> the challenge is um, we're playing normal mode. We're going no loans other than the first one. No drilling, no renting, no workers. We're playing on 1x scale. DLC mode, no fast travel, no large fuel tank, and we can only change the time to smelt to 12x. And then we have to go right back to 1x. So these were the uh, parameters brought up by chat on well, last Friday. So we started uh, today. Or yesterday, sorry. So right now we're in the uh, the process of farming of buckets to hopefully be able to afford... Um, oh, shit. To afford the tier three. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! Living on the edge, bro. No problem, man. And these VODs will be going up on YouTube. Uh, the first one's already up on there. This one will be on there tomorrow around this time. So that way we can have them forever. Did I drill or not? No, no drilling. The only drilling that I'm allowed to do is by buying drill holes. So that's, it's, I have to dig blind and we have to hunt for the gold, so. But we're on old Arnold, so that's pretty forgiving, right? Like, it's pretty chill. Yeah, I'm pretty much just digging. Cause old Arnold's very, there's a lot of gold everywhere. Old Arnold's got a very good base pay. There's no real just straight overburden squares. So, but the other claims are more punishing, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get our wash plant up and running and get a little bit of money going before we try to say hit Rivertown or before we try to hit uh, the next claim, right? So that way I can, it's, I'll have either enough money to poke a couple test holes with the, uh, with buying it. Cause that's going to be kind of brutal. Not having any clue. Never met someone who hasn't had Turkey and never had brisket. Well, brisket might be a little bit more of a rarer one, but than turkey. I mean, turkey is kind of shocking, but. Claim have to be bought or rented. We really didn't discuss that. We kind of left it open because we're not there yet, but you know, we can change some parameters too as well. If you guys want them to be bought, then well, that's up to you guys. If you want them to be bought before I move to the next, then. So how do you get from the hog pan area before? What do you mean? 
like tier two to here or tier one to here. Just normal. I'd always do it. Just dig it up. Just did the did the three bucket. I just you know on old Arnold I know that there's X amount of gold per meter, so it's just run X amount of buckets. Oh, how much gold did I get? I just did the 30. I didn't even clean the buckets up. I haven't done any clean out yet. I'm only just surviving off of nuggets, pure solely. So I got my 30 ounces from nuggets, and then I bought the small excavator, and I ran around th around 20 buckets. And once I got to about 100 ounces in nuggets, I bought outright the uh, large excavator, and then I ran. Then I started running another tier two. So. That's kind of where we're at right now. No, 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 no. Wrong key might fuck. God, no. No. Made my butthole pucker on that one. God damn. Whew. Wrong button, dude. Oh, God. Holy. That was close. No, God, it's the other button. It's this way. It's the, it's the wrong one. Don't do that again. Stop it. Whew. I almost fell in, dude. Man. Oof, that was that was that was close. Holy. Now let's move these back. No, no. Everything's going downhill right now, bro. Save the wash plant. Save the wash plant. Wait, was that a full bucket? Yeah, it was. The other one full too? Get in there. Ah. Listen up, you turd. Yo, what's up, Matthew? Got it.
Okay, so now we gotta move these cables. Crawfish boil would be your favorite thing. I've only had that done well once. Is everybody lagging a lot less today? Buffering a lot less now that we got the transcoding on today? Like I said, it's a random thing that I have to uh, try to prime every day. So I got lucky today with the first shot being transcoded. Yeah. Same old, same old dude just heading off to work. Let's grab the, I still have to take a break. I haven't taken my break yet. Let's get this hooked up. Then I'll take it. Then I'll take my break. Hasn't buffered one time yet. Cool. Cool. What resolutions are you guys watching on? Just kind of curious. Well, everybody's got different internets and different viewing devices, right? So it's mainly the guys that are on cell phones, right? That, that I, and tablets and stuff like that, that are having issues because you know, whether they're, whether they're working or, or things like that. Right. So, uh, that's where transcoding really comes in handy. If you're at home and you're on a good stable internet connection, you have no problem, right? At 1080p nowadays. Right. But. That's what I'm trying to uh, trying to make sure that we got a good a good uh, thing there. And I might, did I pull that thing forward too far? Hold on. Yeah, I need to back that up, dude. I went forward. So I need to back this thing up more, and it's not even connected. Helps if you attach it. 720. Nice, nice, dude. Okay, yeah, just making sure. Making sure everybody's got, you know, they're able to watch. Because uh, the last few streams we've had, they've been a little um, a little hard for some people to watch. So I had to take a little bit of time to figure out what that is. And if we were a partner, we wouldn't have to worry about it. It would just be transcoded all the time. So, but we, as non, as affiliates, we had to fight for a transcoding spot on the server. So, and since I'm streaming at peak times from like 12 to, to later, when I start my stream, all the transcoding spots can be actually full. So you can, you'd have to kind of sit there and wait, right? So we got non affiliates have to fight with affiliates and then non affiliates are last on the order. It's yeah, exactly. And, and I, and I do know because of, you know, just statistics how many of you guys actually view on other devices than just say a computer is is it's actually like 75 percent of you guys view from phones or you cast from your phone to a tv or something like that right and and that can be kind of painful so uh do understand completely on youtube we never had to worry about it because well we all we always had transcoding on youtube we don't have to fight for it there on twitch we had to fight for it so apparently Yay. All right. Took a little longer than I wanted doing that, but hey, whatever. We'll be able to dig some dirt now. Boom. Okay. Get the light. Yeah, light's pretty good.
All right, I do have to go on a break, dudes. Take like 10 minute break here. I'm gonna grab a little bit of food, go outside real quick, walk around, do some stuff. But uh, we'll be coming back. We have a lot of buckets to fill today, so first two hours of stream, we're gonna be going for about six hours again today. We'll get up, get some drinks, do everything you guys gotta do, and all that good fun stuff. I'm gonna throw you guys on break, and I'm gonna throw a, uh, I'm gonna throw an ad string at you guys. So I pre, sorry about that, but you know, gotta do the thing to make you not YouTube, but Twitch happy. You know, you guys know what's up. But yeah, I'm gonna throw you guys on break and do that whole thing. All right, I'm gonna be all lurking and studying. All right, Madre, dude. Yeah, I'm going for another, let's see, it's two hours, 30 minutes in the stream. So yeah, we'll be going for another, you know, four hours-ish today. So <sighs> yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it going today. But I gotta take a break for it. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, there we go. Got a little bit of food. Little nibble to eat. Get some dirt. And we got buckets, dude. Buckets gotta be filled today. We gotta get this clean out in. <clears throat> gotta push it for the next two and a half hours. And not drop everything on the ground. Yeah. Gotta move it. Move it. Oh man, damn, we were chatting up a freaking storm about food, dude. <laughs> I guess we're just going off. <laughs> <coughs> Hit the food spot and everyone <laughs> Dude everybody everybody just wanna like a food break, dude. It all started because Shane said he's never had turkey. It's all Shane's fault. 100 percent How about you, Matthew? You're from Australia. Is it hard to get turkey down there? You just never had it? Shane's never said he's had he's never said he had turkey. Started when you mentioned lasagna. True. What's his name? That's true. 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 I can't put that all on you. Don't you put that on me, Ricky Bobby? Don't you dare. Feels bad, man. I'm not gonna put it all on shit. <laughs> can't be used to it. Well, it can't be my fault. It's gotta be somebody else's. It was only you, Goblin. Dude, oh man, probably someone didn't jump on that faster. Goblin, there's nuts! <laughs> God damn it. It's one thing you never say now is Goblin or Dragon. Fucking <laughs> right. So, you know, someone out there's just looking for it to jump on it. Did you say D's? Blame splitting two games.
Oh, here we go. Do you want to be famous? Do you want to be a big streamer? Buy follows at bigswallows.com. Get a life. <laughs> Let me go get my credit card. Like, why would you buy from their shitty website when Twitch now has it built in? Like, hey, hold on, is that implemented? You guys would know. Is there anywhere that says you can sponsor this stream as a viewer? Or are they not out of that yet? Because I know that they're adding it at some point, but I don't know when. I thought I saw somebody with with it today, but I, I could be wrong. Bum, 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 bum. I need to move that light too. Love that barbecue turkey leg. We're getting closer guys we're getting closer not not too many more buckets we're, we're chomping through those uh those buckets pretty quick then we'll have to go magsep we'll have to do all that good juicy stuff Thank you. 
Oh man, fuel's w low warning. Might have to do that in about the next five hours. Look at 1x. Uh, this is the skin that I did, and the mod the mods don't make any extra gold or anything like that. Just purely a skin. If you're on PC, you can get these skins on the uh, the Steam store, the workshop. Go to my split and two page, and you'll be able to find them there. These are the window liquor. Uh, themed skins for our crew see a lot of people repping the uh, the WL home homies Peter near but couldn't find out how to make one. Yeah, they're uh they could be a pain in the ass. I think while I'm playing Farm Sim, since Farm Sim is very like automated, kinda. Um while I'm just chilling around, I might actually start working on some more skins in the background while playing Farm Sim. It's kinda hard to do anything while you're playing Gold Rush, uh, because there's so many keys that need to be pressed at all times. So Farm sim is a lot of waiting and stuff like that, so I'll have time to multitask while I'm, while I'm doing farm sim. Found the last farm sim to be a snooze fest. I think just in general, farm sims like that as already, right? Like, yep, if the bucket ain't moving, you ain't making money. People say this game is boring and you, you, there's nothing to do, but it's like, well, maybe that's because you're not going fast enough or, you know what I mean? Like, you know, there's always something to do. There's always something you got to get done. The hell they're talking about. Constantly got to move dirt. More to do than farm sim. Yeah, for sure. 100% man. You know what I mean? Like, you're always moving something, turning something off on managing the wash plants you're always doing something more reliable than gold hunter i still love the fanboys come in and try with me like they're gonna like i'm gonna cave into them and be like oh yeah you're right, dude. That game is so amazing, bro. Oh, it's so much better than Gold Rush in its current state. Like they still fucking try, dude. So it's like it's not even annoying. It's just I like I like the content because they're just hurting themselves because it's like dude, you're trying to promote the game, but there, nobody wants to play it because it's so bad. So, why would I want to promote it? Why would I want to waste my time? I'll play a game that works, thank you. And, uh, yeah. I guess it. I can understand being hopeful and, and stuff like that. And you're enraged that Gold Rush didn't listen to your ideas and... You gotta run over and fanboy for another game and gargle on their balls and 
You know what I mean? Like, I, it, it is what it is. I understand it. I get it. But don't be coming over and fucking bothering other people that don't give a shit. You know what I mean? You're just wasting your time, man. Gold Rush has a lot to be hopeful for. And they actually get things done. Like I said, there's going to be a few head scratcher moments here. And people are going to go, what the fuck? But. Just got to wait and see, dude. Yeah, I don't know what his deal was on that day, Shane, to be honest. I think he just uh, read it wrong. Had to have. It's the only thing I can think of. Or he misclicked your name. Because you didn't say anything wrong. I didn't even talked to him about it. He's like, oh, I didn't even know. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, so you just misclicked on it? You didn't even know? Cannon foddered somebody? I don't know, dude. I don't use Reddit. Yeah, yeah, I know you're making a joke on how I said it. Fuck off. That's a beautiful hole. Damn right, still on day one. Rarely in it anyways, didn't care. Yeah, I mean, it's... The, the Discord's pretty much like just Discord, right? It's not... Ooh, 27 ounce nugget! We needed that. Let's go. Let's get some, dude. Still makes... Dude, it, it makes me scratch my head. Still. Honestly. Like... <laughs> Yeah, I haven't done any clean out yet. Mainly just been living off nuggets. Just trying to move these wash plants as little as possible.
All right, let's turn this beast over here. Get a little closer. sliding because I'm not dropping high enough. Okay. Alrighty, righty, righty. Too good for that Discord, he says. I I just have so many Discords that I'm a part of. People are like, join my Discord split. I'm just like, bro, I'm probably never gonna be able to maintain it. I'm always in my own. Or Gold Rush, like, not like I dislike joining people's Discords and stuff like that, but. It's just hard, right? When you're trying to keep up with your own community and, you know, like when I'm just hanging out, I'll throw on someone's Gold Rush channel if it's like normally English, if they're English speaking, I'll throw on someone's Gold Rush and kind of hang out. It's kind of hard to hang out in everybody else's and and run your own. And Got me extra busy. It's okay though. It's worth it. It's worth it. Oh, it'll 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 be worth it. Let's go to the other side of the hole.
while watching you stream, thought you were gonna stream uh, the test. and up oh damn well so when you're running properly it should be a lot higher shit man hey you're getting you're getting wrecked dude fifty down twenty up Goblin machine. <laughs> Come here, you. A little bit of back and forth, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Mr. D. Martin, what's up, DJ? How you doing, buddy? Thank you for leaving a comment on the video, by the way, man. Not very many people do that nowadays, and I, I do appreciate it. Bucket in the box. Oh, 
Oh, man. Whew, that taco bowl was good. Out that on my brick. Uh, it should be okay for streaming. I mean, it's got a good, it's got a good response time. I mean, right now it might be a little bit unstable at the current moment, but. Damn, bro. You got the vids, dude. Holy shit. Well, good thing you're still here with us, bud. You got it after the shots, eh? A lot of good that did, huh? Yeah, first cast park open with six million left. Nice, man. Dude, challenge modes are where it's at, dude, on Jurassic World Evolution 2. Ooh, challenge modes are fun. Once you get the first, that, that initial butt kicking, dude, and you survive it. Oh, hells yeah. Dude, I was making profit. I didn't when I when I finally beat it. I was making so much money, dude. I think I ended mine with like 30 or 40 million, dude. It was insane. My park was just wrecking in the cash. Most of my parks are like cash cows now, so since I figured out how to to do some stuff. Like streaming, you can stream on low speed internet as long as the ping is good. As long as you have a good ping, man. And your ping's not shit. Yeah, if, if you have a shitty ping, dude, stream's gonna be terrible. Like a streaming, like especially Twitch, doesn't take that much data, right? Like if you're streaming at 6K, you need six megabytes up for that. So as long as you have a good, healthy connection, you're, you, you should be good. Your ping's nine? Yeah, then do you good? See? Good pings. It's not the speed of your internet. It's mainly just the quality of your internet. Right? So you can really have really high speed internet, but really shitty quality internet, right? So. What's the goal for the gold? Uh, the goal is we really don't have an end goal. It's mainly just get all the T5 equipment and pretty much purchase everything that you would need, right? That you can maximum buy. It's pretty much just what's going to determine this, uh, the end of this save. So we're just, you know, just having a fun, different parameters. Put a couple uh, butthole parameters in there to piss me off, you know? Try to irritate me a little bit. Then after this save, we'll uh, see what's going on with the game and hopefully we have some new content. If not, well, we'll start, we'll go back and we'll do mine rescue on the old save that I did on YouTube. Um, we'll, we'll mine rescue that hard mode save and we'll start on that. Maybe change some parameters around. Because that's a no drilling, no renting, no, no loans, um, save. So it's been kept pure. We can always do like a mine rescue series on that after this one.
Oh man, oops. Did not want to really undercut that that badly. We're just trying not to move these wash plants too much. All right, trying to get as many buckets as we possibly can per hour. Just kind of like, just chill, get this done. You know, we're kind of doing like the 100 bucket-ish farm. So we bought another, we bought another 48 buckets. We had 30 something filled yesterday. Yeah, they said that, um, you know, right now it's running about 150 and it will be going up as they get more of the, the uh, stage two satellites in. But, you know, it's already decent as it is right now if you have really unstable internet and uh, the price isn't too bad. Like $100 US, so that'd be like, yeah, a little bit more for you guys down there, but that's still pretty good because there's no data cap and... You know, like we were talking about earlier, there's no data cap, so that's really good. And it's only going to get faster and faster and faster over the years. All right, so as they move to stage two, stage three, you know, stage two is being implemented now, with that, which that is the laser array on the satellites. So that's all being implemented. As soon as Starship gets operational, that that'll be uh, even nicer because they can implement all the re redo all the satellites and faster. Up about up to one fifty. The wash plants kind of sound like dryers with shoes in them. <laughs> they do actually. Put some rocks in that dryer. Roll this backwards. We don't want to get too far away, so. These are all full of gold. them up as we go. Yeah, take a little bit more out of this side and then we'll move the wash plants. Oh, I guess... You gotta put a buck. Ah, we'll just do it now. Let's just move them now instead of fighting dirt. Let's just go for it. And don't forget that bug it.
Well. Rip. <laughs> Wash plant down. Wash plant down. I tried to save it, but yeah, it was. We tried. Just wasn't having none of it. Tromping pretty big holes. Getting closer, guys, to the bucket, though. Getting closer to that clean out. Ooh. Yeah, let's back it up. See shit. Works for me. That's actually a little too far. Oops. That's okay. Scoopy, 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 scoop. Okay, let's go turn this light a little bit more back here. Okay, you. The main thing is, is that we're got enough pay to scoop us around. So if we can deal with the back side of the plant first, then we can deal down the sides. We'll have the back middle. I'm on a uh, keyboard and mouse. And uh, welcome. Welcome. 
de aquí. I play mostly default keys. A couple variations. Appreciate that, man. Bucket is full. Uh, must have a dirt mound must have came out. That was not the scoop I wanted. We have a better scoop there. Trying to fill up some more buckets here. Quite a bit to go today. Uh, not quite a bit. We we knocked out that that bucket pile pretty good. That was a that was 48 buckets. And like I said I said it was probably gonna take about five hours, so it'll probably put us close to that. Depending on how fast I move through these next uh, like 10 buckets, I think we have left roughly. But maybe maybe I'll do it a little faster. Oop, wrong button. Woo. Yeah, and welcome to all the new people. Lots of new people coming in and watching. Last few days, a lot of new, lots of new peeps. It's good to see some new faces. Been doing uh, streaming for years on Gold Rush, so it's always good to meet new people interested in the game or playing the game. Or if you have any questions, feel free to ask. on our own. Man, a little bit of bucket flick there at the end. Shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, Gold Rush is my main game that I play. I'm now just back to streaming it again and you know, off and on for for years. Used to be over on YouTube for quite a while and well for for a better part of my streaming like the last five years, so got thousands of hours of Gold Rush played, multiple competition wins.
all that good stuff. Thank you much for the follow. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, we're just starting a new save for fun and a little bit of a uh, challenge from the viewers to do some, some things to uh, spice it up a little bit since we haven't really had any content for the game. So figured uh, just do a little bit of a fun playthrough. Let's go ahead and hit this because I have to grab buckets. Let's go ahead and put this there. Yep, main game, main game. It's nice and chill, fun, relaxed to play. What's that? Uh, yes, I do. One sec, let me put these buckets in place. Uh, and then I will. Oh, the bucket pile's getting smaller, dudes. Yeah, I'm on YouTube as well. Uh, split into uh, gaming, and I do I do post my vods over there uh, from Twitch. I yeah, I, I'm mainly just a streamer. I don't I don't really like. Um, I really don't make a lot of videos. I have been trying to lately get better at doing it, but um, I have been starting to put some how tos up and things like that. And a lot of people have asked me to do my version of the game. How I play it and stuff like that. So over the years, yeah, and these these do go up on uh, YouTube as well, so that way they get saved forever. So because uh, Twitch will only let us keep them for like fifteen days, so. Oh, I know you. I watched today. Fresh new season. I think. Nice. Well, welcome. Yep. The original OG goat of Gold Rush. You're here. You found it. You found the Holy Grail. <laughs> Congratulations. The one that most people learned how to play Gold Rush from. Shit! God, that scared me. Phew. And we don't have a hose, so we gotta go to town to fix it. You know, I didn't check that the last time we went to town, so. Shut her down, Captain. Shut her down. Breakdown's happening. <laughs> Sorry, he came after me, bruh. How dare you confuse me with a cheater? How dare you? How dare you, Snippy? Come on, man. Hit the bypass. <laughs> yeah, let's just replace him. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to. <laughs> Amanda's waiting very patient for me right now. So just going to pull these off and then I'll be right back two minutes. Plus I have to go to the bathroom. I'm like doing the pee pee dance in my chair. Uh -huh. nah. Come back to see I broke my excavator. Yeah, it's broken. It broke. We're getting closer though, guys. I th I, maybe a little ahead of schedule. So we got these buckets left. And... 
these, so not very many. You can, if you can learn anything on how to play this game by watching Dre, then you must be seeing something else I'm watching than I'm watching. All I see is, hey guys, today we're going to mine some gold. And then he's like pushing dirt around on the dozer. And then he's like, cuts to the next scene and like four buckets filled up, throws those in, makes a bunch of jokes in between. And then he's done. Like, okay, well, that, that was very informative on how to play the game. Cool. Awesome. Nice. Got somewhere today. Shit. I'm just messing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just talking shit. I'll be right back. Though. I gotta help him out with some stuff. And I gotta go to the bathroom. So, be right back. Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. Slowly steal my buckets. The hell? 
up with that. I had to help the wife with some stuff. Yeah, let's go and load these buckets over there by the other pile of buckets that we have that are full. You see nothing. Crooked row of buckets. Whatever. We're doing a cleanup after this, anyways. Doesn't have to be straight. So many buckets. The claim enters like, hell yeah, payday coming up, bro. I'm going on vacation. He's like, I'm going to buy a house. Nope. Yeah, not enough. We got to fix that. We got to fix the hoe and get the rest of those buckets pounded out, dude, and get this clean out in for the day. And you get a bucket and you get a bucket throw my good parts right here and let's go get the hoses Oh, 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 no, 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 Whoa. Whew. I shouldn't, I shouldn't need more buckets. This should be what I need here after I get the rest of these all filled. More buckets! Did I want to get out of the tier two at some point this week, please? Twenty more buckets this trip. Hell with you guys. Papa, what was that? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, give me a bit.
Why is it my thing on? Hold Streamer mode does why I wonder why. Ah, huh. there we go. No buckets. Whoa. Yes, or fuel. Damn it, I forgot to get another fuel tank. Trying to get these buckets done today. I get it. I want to get a clean out today. Damn it. I gave you guys a full a full bucket truckload today. What? Huh? The more buckets, the more gold you have, right? Turn the lights off on your truck. But we want more buckets. Dude, I want tier three. I want I want to do a cleanup. Should charge you guys a dollar a bucket. Wait a minute, no, that's a bad deal. Never mind. That's a only a dollar? That's a bad deal. Never mind. I'll, you guys will be like two hundred dollar dono. Two hundred buckets, bitch. <laughs> like, nope, I'm out of here. I'm quitting. I'm done. Hold on one second. All right, talk about that. The reinforced hoses. Oh, I forgot to mention that Thursday we might not be... I might have to stream a lot earlier on Thursday. Because we do have the internet technician coming out. So, he's coming from 3 to 5. So I might have to stream quite a bit earlier on Thursday.
Works for me. Yeah, I gotta, uh... I'm not sure how long they're gonna take and stuff like that, so... I think, I think they're running all new fiber lines, so... And installing the boxes and... Minimum of a hundred buckets today. Good oh lord. You guys are needy for buckets. One dollar a bucket then? Fuck, fuck off! I'm my own wife trying to bucket pimp me out. What the hell? Some bullshit. After all, by the way, you made us this way after the one claim, one clean out. <laughs> finale of this series should be at every claim one clean out. Just saying. I 100% agree. You guys want to see one frame per second know it oops we want to see a tank You just want to see coffee come in and bully me? He comes in from time to time. He comes stops by every once in a while. I would go. On, I go on his streams whenever he's streaming. Sometimes and hang out. He's always normally playing uh, RP, um, GTA. That's where our money's going to be, right there. One clean out Mount Bucket Etna at the end. Mount Bucket Etna at the end. A giant pile of buckets, dude. That's going to be a massive amount of buckets, Shane. Like, it's going to be... I'm going to have to dig a hole or something, dude. And, like, just throw them all in it just for the meme shot, you know? Dude, thank you for the dono, man. Appreciate that, bro. Yeah, we gotta do, we gotta do something fun. You know what I mean? Like we gotta do something bigger and better than anybody else has ever done. And you know, most of the, it's mainly me I'm beating, trying to compete with, right? So, shit, dude, we got we got we gotta do something stupid, bro. Hope it doesn't fry the computer, <laughs> dude. All right, Madre, dude. Take it easy, dude.
You know a contest that could win a 3080? Damn. Where's that? Give me a 3080. I'll take a 3080. Can't say the name where Matthew will beat you? Oh. Why is that? He's mean like that. Why am I running overburden? Because it's old Arnold and there really isn't any overburden. The whole claim is pretty much uh, 0 0.43 and up per meter, so. And my viewers put a challenge on me that um, pretty much says that uh, I don't get to use a drill or anything like that, so. Yeah. Yo, what's up, little Mac? You gotta play Cold Hunter for 12 hours in one day? Long? Doesn't even have, it doesn't, dude. I, I tried to play it and it was just like trash, dude. I wish I knew how to play this game. I need some help, guys. I need to know how to play this game. <sighs> so terrible. Don't look at me, I look at you like a drink. Hey, then you definitely ain't no help, dude. Nope, it's Wednesday. Uh, two plus two equals four, Snippy. Okay. I'm running to tier four right now. Is 
this how we do it around here? It's a circle. <gasps> Whoa. some for you, you little friend. I just want to be done with these buckets. Why did I get so many buckets today? It's not bad. It's only going over by a little bit. It's only clipping it by like a percent, so it's not that big of a deal. For those buckets, we salute you. Ew. <laughs> it just like flicked off the end of the bucket right in between them. Rip. Dude, you gotta give a 21 bucket salute in chat, boys. Come on, use those emotes. Getting close to the end of the bucket line. Gambo, huh? Menudo? How dare. if I fall off or not. I mean, at some point I'll fall asleep and and fall off, but you know. That time is not now. I'm gonna put myself in timeout if I fall in the hole right now. It's happened. We've heard me fall asleep. Just taunting Vile when he fell. <laughs> I 
I would distract him so bad, bro. Like, <laughs> I was like, so what you doing over there, man? Just like start talking to him for a second, and he just falls in the hole. He's just like, I don't want to talk about his foot. Every time you come into my chat, I always fall in the damn hole. <laughs> There's more buckets at the store. <laughs> Haha, the one that just flew away fell into the other wash plant. What it? Let's get it. Mount Matsuvius on Pine? Oh, dude, I don't know what I'm gonna do with how I'm gonna RP that. I might go hardcore on mats or something, dude, just for, for fun. Because, like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. I just want to meme this. I want to meme it up. You know what I mean? We're just having fun memeing it up. We're not trying to be meta or anything like that, so. Do something stupid and ridiculous for no reason. Mount Massuvius is a trademark. Yeah. Same with all the buckets, too, and everything, right? I just like how, like, all the streamers tried to, like, copy me and all the content creators tried to copy me after that. Like, after one claim, one clean out, dude. Like, it was, like, immense amount of videos trying to come out being, like, mega clean out. And it's, like, 40 buckets. It's like, bro, you can't follow the guy that literally just did enough buckets to lag his computer into oblivion. And then be like, claim you have a mega clean out. You can't do that. It's not gonna work. No one's gonna care. So now I literally have to break my own computer to break my own something. So, yeah, we're gonna have to do something like a one, every claim, one clean out. Just for fun, right? We gonna see 250 dude we're gonna i want to see if i can do i want i want a million yards one season a million yards one season dude dude i want to see a forty thousand yard day plus You guys got you guys got me with training you guys got me with training wheels on bro or broken ones at that matter from like if I don't have workers I can't like meta smash for like 24 hours straight right One dollar per thousand yards. Someone's gonna bankroll that one. So I make six dollars every, uh, I make like five dollars every, um, every two hours, is what you're saying? Nice. Make I make less than a 
person that picks up dog shit. Great. This is a dumb question, but is it worth it? Efficient to shaker thing, first grade trommel, and get the nuggets faster? Um, it's always worth it because you get a little bit more efficiency out of the um, out of the the uh, tier three than you do the mobiles. But the mobiles, you don't gotta, you have to move around. Right? The rock truck, you're pretty much bringing to pay to the plant, so there's a lot less maneuvering. It's more constant yardage and stuff like that, so it's definitely worth going to the next tier. And by the time you get enough out of your tier two, man, you're already wanting that. Hey, all my rocks fell out. That's not nice. You can always try for one uh, bucket too. We're gonna have bucket sponsors. This clean out is brought to you by Sir Grizzly Bear. Go to SirGrizzlyBearShop.com. He's affiliated with BigSwallows.com. Just got a DM said I was shit player. Fuck, dude. Lord. We've been low fuel for hours. The only thing I can sponsor is Star Citizen. Player here, dude. Well, I got Scott told. Damn, dude. Feels bad. God, bro, get good, man. How dare you be shitty at this game, dude? Not like you've ever gotten number one. I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, not like I haven't broken a majority of the the records in this game. I don't know.
You know you've done so much when the beginning of every leaderboard season it literally has a warning because of what you did. <laughs> I don't know anybody else has played this game that has a warning. They they even sick me after the cheaters, man. So go go make an example of them, bro. Go go kick that ass, dude. We can't do anything legally, but you can go in and put a stomp on them. I'm like, all right, dude. I got this, dude. <laughs> sick me after him like a rabid dog. Oh, what? Hmm? What? Dangle some content in my face. You needed some noob destroyed. What? All right, let's do this shit. Nah, I did that one as a favor. That's what it was. For all those people out there that are tired of seeing exploiters and cheaters from taint leaderboards with their shitty play. That one was for the homies! Yeah, that's one way you can exploit. And save scrubbing and, and map scrubbing and... Time for some bench fight. To share your Tim Tams, dude. Tim Tams are good, man. I mean, Amanda love them. They're good. She likes the uh, she likes the dark chocolate ones. I'm uh, I like the caramel ones and the double coat. Not Timmy's, Tim Tams. Double, double, please. Ew, Timmy's is gross. What? We already know it's gross. It's the, it's like the ghetto coffee of Canada, man, but it's just like crack. So, that's all it is. We know it's not, everybody knows Timmy's not like the premier coffee. It's just cheap and it's, it's good for its price. I guess we'll put it that way, right? It's good for the price. It's good when you're about to go fishing. 4.30 in the morning. Timmy's and Tim Tams are great. That's a great combo. Mmm, Tim Tam Slam with some Timmy's. Mmm, shit. I do like Fi the argument of the cheaters, though, and the exploiters. 
Well, split in two sandbags. Um, I didn't know that not showing my cards is cheating. <laughs> fucking, I only cheat because split in two doesn't show us how to dig properly. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that logic was fucking like brain dead. Like, holy shit, dude. Alex cheat because Split won't show us his meta meta? And, you know, it's like, this is bullshit. He sandbags. <laughs> oh, God, dude. <laughs> You look crazy, dude. I think the mold in the basement has gone to some people's heads. Yeah, I'm right, dude. Grinder throws down, bro. That's what I was saying. Grinder's one of the top top five in the world, man. Grinder does well. A lot of guys have been putting in some hours lately, man. It's been good to see. It honestly has been really good to see. Makes me happy seeing the WL out there repping, dude, you know? with sandbaggers go to the corner of the ring just hit the gas <laughs> just go hard bro nah for years I never showed anybody how to to like it was because I played as a role play meme content I was a youtuber that's for the content right and uh you know I always just kind of played and had fun sat and talked to people never really pushed big yardage or anything like that and just kind of just chilled Maybe once I showed how to put, how I put big yards down, you know, so everybody thought I was kind of just like a joke slash kind of just played here and there, you know, oh, he's not very efficient. He only just can play a lot of hours. Oh, he gets paid to play gold rush, you know, crap like that, right? Leaderboard one came and I just still didn't show. I never showed how I meta, you know, it's like. Why? If, if you know leaderboards are coming into a video game, why would you teach everybody how to beat you? Right? If you're a content creator, that's great content beating people because most YouTubers and stuff like that, you know, or content creators generally don't have the time to compete because they're more focused on making content. Well, I don't play the game for views. I play the game because I want to be good at it and play it and I love it. Right? So it was, it was more beneficial for me to play the game for three plus years and never show anybody how I really mine, right? Like, and then that way when I need to break out and, and, and dig some dirt, you know, just turn off stream and dig the way that I dig for my meta. And then, you know, when it comes time to, you know, someone comes into my chat and's like, Hey, look at the leaderboards now. And I'm just like, all right, hold on. Let me, uh, go log, walk over to my green shed here real quick. And, um, and uh, let's go turn some buckets in. Just drop 10,000 ounces on them, right? Like, well, what did you... Last night, you didn't have that many buckets. What did you do? I mined... I mined, like, 10k ounces. What do you want from me? So, you know, it's like, when, when I'm only doing, like, 2,000 yards on stream, and then when I'm off stream, I'm doing, like, four to 6,000 yards, you know, people try to think that they can beat me if they just out, you know, play me hour-wise, right? But... It's a little hard when you hold a, a 4,000, like 300, 4,400 yard average per day and doing cleanups, right? So 
But doing cleanups, like big, big cleanups and hoarding them, it is a, it is, it's a lot of time because you're moving a lot of buckets around. There's a lot of extra clicks and stuff like that and, and everything. And you know what I mean? Like it, it's, it's not efficient. It's just content is what it is. And it was good content, you know? Yeah, I mean, exactly, Fi. Kind of missed the 30 minute video once. Yeah, I want to do something with a video for more videos, right? Like after that season, you know, like, like I said, just getting burned out on the game and and trying to figure out what I want to do content wise and, you know, spending all these hours playing and, you know, the views just ain't coming in. You know, it's a lot of hours it was, it was taking away from live streaming, right? Like more people come in and watch the video or watch the live stream. And then if I post the live stream afterwards, it's just, you know, as a content creator, it's it's about the it's about those views, right? So, the more views you're getting, the more people you're reaching, the more people are watching your content, and you spend you know, 80 hours to put out one episode, and you only get 400 views. You know what I mean? It's like, it's uh, it, it's it's a little defeating, right? So you know, I've tried to do that for a little while and try to convert to doing both. It's gonna burn me out, you know. I do know like people people really like the short content. Yeah, go ahead and be honest, man. I don't care. I gonna hurt my point. I did seven episodes. Gold rush or what, what do you mean? Seven episodes of what? And only had ten views on you. Dude, it happens, man. It really does. You know how many people have told me straight up that they are purposely trying to like become me or what I've done with gold rush. It's absolutely insane. The amount of people that have started either streaming or trying to become YouTube creators and they put out all this time and get like 10 views, man. It's, it's hard. It's not, I don't have the magic. I don't have the magic answer for people, you know, like, Hey, like when I tell people do do, do not, give up a job to do this this has to be a hobby and you have to love it and you know what i mean and it's i just love the the, the tv show and the game is good enough for me to be like put a lot of hours into and being like an ex-professional -prof gamer and someone that's been in many many big time situations as far as like world of warcraft top 10 guilds in the world big big time stuff right like I don't want to play multiplayer games. I kind of just want to play by myself. I'm quite frankly tired of playing with people. I like, that's why I like Gold Rush being single player and just kind of hanging out and you didn't do it as a job. Yeah, it's, 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 I've seen a lot of people do, try to do Gold Rush over the years. You know, a lot of viewers, right? Like a lot of viewers trying to do Gold Rush, man. Yeah, a lot of people quit their jobs right away and, and try to become uh, streamers and stuff, man. It's just don't do it. Like, you won't make money for a long time. Like, my situation was very lucky. Uh, apparently, people really like watching me play this game, and dude, I don't know why. Like, I, I it's like, I, I try to watch my own streams. It's like watching paint dry, man. I'm like, fuck this shit. This guy sucks. I'm out of here. Then I realize I'm watching one of my own my own streams. I'm like, God damn it. Guy sounds like Seth Rogen on dope. What a good shit. Like, just because I did it and I streamed it, I mean, we know many of people that have tried to stream Gold Rush and, you know, get the views and stuff like that that I've done. And it's just, it just never happened for them. And they're good players, too. They're good people, and it just doesn't happen. You know? Like, it is, it is what it is, right? Like, it's, it sucks, but, you know, it's, it, that's streaming, right? Like, I spent a lot of time advertising myself and, and um, you know, many years, many views... You know, like over a million something plus views on Gold Rush, and that's not even including some of the videos I had to take down. So, 
Like, I may not be known as, as much as, like, somebody like, say, Dre or those guys that are big, but those guys are big for other reasons, not just Gold Rush. Right? Like, those, they only get a lot of views on their Gold Rush video because they already had a big following to begin with. Right? So, they're not really Gold Rush players. They just play every game. And just because you're good doesn't mean you're gonna you're exactly exactly like like i thought like i'm gonna be honest i thought that me jumping out and i really i really before leaderboards came out i really sat there and struggled to go you know do i play leaderboards do i you know do i go out and just start just massacring on people are people really even gonna care um is it going to be worth it? And honestly, dudes, like, yeah, it solidified my spot as like a gold rush legend, but it didn't, it didn't pay off. Like I thought it was for the amount of hours I was, I put in, it actually hurt me to a lot of my original viewers that wanted to watch me just sit back and chill and relax. Right. They didn't like, they didn't like the split in two pro savage, you know, the other side of the split in two, right. They didn't like that side. And we lost a lot of homies. We lost a lot of viewers. Everybody liked to sit and chill and RP and hang out. They didn't want they didn't want the beast to be unleashed, right? Like, and it was it was kind of difficult, you know. All the, we had death threats. We had we had you know people saying all kinds of heinous shit. You know, even just recently we had it too as well. You know, with the whole cheater bullshit, dude. Right? Like salty ass dude got kicked out of our community years ago. You know, sitting there talking all kinds of shit about me and my wife and and doing it on stream and bragging about how good he is and he's sitting there exploiting and teaching people how to exploit and just talking complete utter shit. You know, I, I play this game. I play this game and I do. It's always about content. I'm a content creator, right? So ego and stuff like that and narcissism is part of what we do as entertainers. And if, you, if people are too stupid to understand that, then they're idiots and you can't help them, right? If you don't understand that when I'm saying I'm the best, I'm going to destroy everybody, it's not because I actually mean it. It's, well, I kind of do, but, you know, <laughs> it's, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it, they, they just don't understand, right? Like, yeah, I mean, you guys witnessed this too. I mean, I, a lot of you people thought I was bullshitting about all the drama drama and stuff like that right like but no i mean you guys witnessed it firsthand the other a couple seasons ago you guys see what the type of people i have to deal with on a daily basis right and it's like nah dude it's i'm not joking about it it actually happens right like so but that's you know my, my, my fucking name is split in two why do you come on bro like like, obviously, you guys know me in Discord when we're sitting there chatting and hanging out. I'll be more than willing to help anybody. And just even just, even if it's just sitting down and chatting if you're having a bad day. You know what I mean? It's 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 not about streaming and making money and doing those things. It's about the community and hanging out and, and just generally being there for each other. Whether it's, hey, man, I just want to play a game and get my mind off of shit. And yeah, we've seen a lot of stuff, a lot of bullshit come our way over the years. A lot of stuff that most people can't even fathom. And we've gone through it and we've dealt with it. And we're still here and we're still playing. And, and uh, yeah, we're a little jaded about certain things now. But, you know, hey, whatever, right? It happens. I felt the wrath of Split. I have my bad days and my good days, just like everybody, right? Like, you've been sitting there playing. If you've streamed a game for three thousand hours, dude, and you, you know, you're sitting there doing that, and you, and half the like majority of people coming in are telling you you play like shit, and oh, they could beat you, and and uh, you know, it's just constant bullshit. Death threats, yeah, Techie. We had some people uh, put some death threats out, man. Like legitimate death threats, man. Like just because I played leaderboard season one and destroyed people. They're like, oh, you just you screwed up the game, you know, and you're the reason why this game is shitty because, you know, the devs listen to you and and um, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm from I'm from Canada. I was born and raised in the States, though. I moved over here about almost 10 years ago now to be with my wife. I, I don't care because I know they're just keyboard warriors and I know they're mad for other reasons. They do, It's jealousy is what it is. 
I, and I understand that. I get it. I've been in the gaming industry for a really long time. I've tested for lots of AAA titles and stuff like that. And, I, and I've been a part of big, 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 giant uh, raiding guilds and been officers in those guilds. And I'm used to dealing with hundreds of people. Right? Hundred, everybody has a different personality, right? Like... Where about from the USA? From my from Washington State, man. That's where I was born and raised, dude. Right next to the Canadian border, too. So it wasn't that long of a trip to come over here and meet my wife. Like, I generally give people third, fourth, fifth, tenth, twentieth chances, right? I'm generally pretty forgiving when it comes to, you know, people being douchey, right? Because I get it. Like, not... A lot of people use the internet for different things, right? And whatever your reason is, cool. You know? Like, that's awesome. Even if you're not being real at all times. It doesn't matter. As long as you're genuine when it comes to, like, the way you're acting and your personality from a day-to-day -day basis, right? Like, that's fine. Like, I don't care if someone's like, oh, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm rich and, uh, I got, uh, you know, like all this shit. It's like, cool, man. That's nice. I'll, I'll genuinely believe you and not question you and stuff like that. Cause why? Who cares? You know I mean? What is it any of my business to give two shits? Right? Like, well, I pour. Nice to meet you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I just, it's. It, people are going to be people on the internet, right? It's just when people take things like, especially other content creators and people you've had run-ins with the past and things like that, when they don't understand that what you do is on a business level and not a personal level and they can't differentiate between the, between the two because they just don't have that mental capability. Those are the people that I just don't fucking care. In the beginning, I used to care. I used to try to, you know, make it there I guess make a difference or something but it doesn't matter because you're never going to change those people you're never going to be able to help them when they take everything personally and they and you know they don't understand that streamers we're we're a show you know we're, we're entertainers that's our job if you're not then you're doing something wrong you're doing something wrong man you know Some people would say that's one of my biggest faults is I'm too, too down to earth and I'm too humble and I'm too honest. People have told me that my whole life, like, and my, my reasoning behind it is, is, well, part of it's my disability and it's, I've always found it to be easier to be that way than to lie and to be things like that. Because for one, it's hard to remember lies and two, it's like. I'd rather somebody know exactly where I'm coming from than have them sit there at the end of the day and guess because I know I know people I know there's 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 a couple different way people's brains work in this world and the analogy is pretty easy because it comes down to psychology and it's a psychology test right and what it is is like okay if I tell you that I like your shoes Okay, I asked 10 of you people, I asked 10 of you, and I'm sitting there, and you're like, I'm like, okay, hey, man, I really like your shoes, right? Not everybody's going to read into that the same way. Somebody could be like, well, fuck, man, why does he like my shoes? It, does he really hate them? And they start dwelling on things, and, and they overthink everything, and they could be negative, they could be positive, they could, all many different outcomes on how people's brains work. Right, so I've always found in my life that it's always been better to be brutally honest at all times and to not lie about things because it's just a waste of time. It's honestly a waste of time. And, you know, like I said, part of that's my disability. I do have mild autism. I do have things that my brain, it's hard for me to do things like, like that, you know? And I like I grew up never being told I had disabilities. I had to deal with my problems. 
and I didn't even know what it was. I didn't know why my brain worked the way that it did. You know what I mean? So I had to figure that all myself. Did it make me stronger of a person? I think so. I mean, did it, did I feel like I was held back a little bit by myself? Absolutely. You know? Like, Amanda hates it, man, because she'll ask me a question and I'll just be brutally honest and she might be looking for a little compassion or, you know, and stuff like that. And it's just like, I, I, I can't, it's not that I'm not compassionate. It's, it's, it's hard. It's just, it's very difficult. My brain does not want to work that way. It's like, nope, ain't happen, not happen. Crazy been a member for three years, dude. Yeah, dude, you guys have been around for a long time. Does it really matter if you're on the spectrum or not? No, it really doesn't matter. It really, honestly, it doesn't matter. As long as, the only thing that, that sucks and is people telling you what you can and can't do because you're on, and I hate the fucking word spectrum, dude, first off. God, I hate when people say that shit. Dude, bro, I'm a fucking retard, okay? Like, like... <laughs> Come on, like God damn it! There's spectrum shit now. What am what what am I a goddamn spaceship? Like shit, dude. I'm just messing with you, dude. I'm just kidding, dude. <laughs> I'm just messing with it, bro. Yeah, I am a spaceship. I'm a spaceship. I mean, that's why we're the window lickers, man, because we all have problems. We all we all got issues in some way, one or another, and that's why it says it on our equipment. You know? We know it. We know we're that. We know we're not better than that. It is what it is. Like, now that I look back at it, man, I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of glad that I didn't get labeled and I didn't get, you know, and things like that. My parents did a very good job at hiding it from me. And I'm kind of glad that they did, honestly. I'm really glad that they did. Used to work with high-functioning mental disabled teenagers, and to be honest... Yeah, I agree. I 100% agree, man. I, I love people with disabilities. Absolutely love them. I, I don't know of any other human beings in the world that I will sit and hang out with and don't leave there at the end of the day just happy. They're brutally honest and it's... I love it, man. Like, it's, it's great. Great conversations. You know, especially if they know... If, especially if somebody with... whether physical or... or mental disabilities it's when they know that you're a genuine person it's great it's good because they have to guard themselves so much right and you never know the type of person you're going to meet or who you're going to find and ever when everybody looks at you like you're just less than that could be extremely irritating man you know and and yeah it's, it's just a bummer that people in this world treat people that way Now, like, am I going to hand somebody with cerebral palsy a auction and acetylene torch? Hell fucking no. That was my auto shop teacher, by the way. <laughs> you weren't diagnosed until a few years back? Neither was I. I didn't get diagnosed until I came to Canada, bro, and they told me I was a tard. Okay. I was like, thanks, Canada. Awesome boot fucking time, huh? Mmm, these windows taste good. Damn right, dude. But now that's pretty much a nutshell. Like I said, it's just, I just, I have a hard time dealing with people like, like that, and you know, yeah, I come off as being a little aggressive sometime, or, you know, 
Okay, it's one way to phrase it. <laughs> ah, I don't know. You know? I was shocked, man. The doctor and the, the psychiatrist and stuff like that when you're coming to Canada and you gotta get your health and wellness checks and everything like that. I was just like... I wasn't, like, shocked, but I was just kind of like... You know, that makes... You know, ooh, big nugget. That makes perfect sense, right? Like, the way my brain works and why it works that way and... And, uh, things like that, you know, and... I was like, man, that makes a lot of sense, dude. And welcome, Stuart. Welcome, man. The red ones. The blue ones. And the green ones. <laughs> There's gonna be a good time in this channel, bro. <laughs> Yo, the random stuff we talk about while digging gold, dude. It's all day long, man. We, if we're not talking about food, we're talking about farts. If we're not talking about farts, we're talking about being dumb. Or yoga pants. Well, today you guys were talking about thongs, but... I don't know what the hell you guys were going off about with thongs, dude. I wasn't paying attention. I'm like, I'm gonna be real here for a second. I had no clue what you guys are talking about. <laughs> I was like, what? What are these guys talking about? Stay away from the brown windows. Like, does his does his excavator say window liquor on it? What the hell? Dudes, we're getting close to the end of the buckets. Uh, uh. Yeah, we got people from all over the world, man, over the last five years watching us play Gold Rush and... Honestly, I'm very happy with the community and all the people that I've seen start to stream and and make content and you guys go out and support them and stuff like that like people like Fi and Grinder and all you guys that go out and watch other Gold Rush streamers and support them and and stuff like that dude like it makes me smile dude to see you guys in their chats and you guys you know making them have a good experience like you guys have with me over the years you know and and I'm glad that our community members are like that dude like you know Yeah, I like two more switches. Like I said, you guys are good individuals, man. A lot of good homies in this channel. I just wish we would have kept a lot of the YouTube homies, you know what I mean? Like, the only reason why I don't allow people to advertise their streams in my Discord is because it just clutters up everything. You know, I don't want people just to be a clone of what I've done. I want them to do their own thing, right? Like, and it's not because I don't want to be like, oh, share it, you know, split, split's a, split's greedy, doesn't let everybody advertise, and it's like, nah, it's just because that's not what my channel's for, right? Like, I'm all for helping everybody out and letting everybody do their thing, but I don't want them to be a split and two clone. Yeah, that that is more YouTube's fault. I agree, Shane, because because YouTube is so cutthroat, right? Like, YouTube was so cutthroat. It was like you know you had to protect what was yours, and you couldn't let anybody be, you know, you couldn't let anybody come into your spotlight. You couldn't, you know what I mean? Like, because everybody was everybody on YouTube is always trying to steal a viewer for 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 anything, man. Anytime they get a chance, right? And Twitch is a little bit more kumbaya. Let's hold everybody's hand. Uh, type of mentality so it's it's nice you know like when we first came back to you to twitch and stuff like that it was you know it's like you know hey um 
it was like cool you know i'm gonna i'm gonna host some of the homeboys that you know that, that follow and support me right like if they're playing gold rush but what i didn't like was when i was getting begged to be hosted you know what i mean it's like dude come on bro are you only playing gold rush because you're hoping i'm gonna host you right it's like dude no ain't gonna happen not happening bro ain't doing it my viewers ain't gonna like that they're gonna see right through that shit and they're gonna tell you your butthole you guys are savage as fuck man you guys you guys are full grown ass adults Yeah, when they, dude, that was, like I said yesterday, that, that killed me, bro. That killed my soul when they were timing you guys out. And that just killed my soul, dude. I know it does, Receptive. I know that. You know, it's, I, I try, I try not to say anything when I come in and watch people's channels, but you know, it's like, cause I don't want it to turn into the, the split in two show type of thing, but. You know, sometimes I'll, I'll say something and, and stuff, right? Get them talking, get people a little, maybe get their, get them, get them out of their shell a little bit. You know what I mean? Get them chatting, get them excited. Like, that's why I still do what I'm doing. Like, everybody was... A, a lot of people were asking me, man. Like, Split, why are you playing Gold Rush again? Why are you planning on doing this for, like, a whole other series again? There's no new content. There's no nothing. There's nothing in it for you. It's because sometimes it's not about the streamer. You know, this is my main game that I play. This is how all of you guys found me. Right? Like, majority. Like, 90% of you guys have found me through Gold Rush. Right? Like... Stuart, dude, thanks for the follow, man. There's some excavator form pouring for you, bud. You know, that's how a lot of you guys have found me, right? So, playing the game that you guys found me on, and you guys watched me, you know, for all the years that I've been doing it, is for the fans. It's for you guys. Sitting here playing every day of the week, grinding holes in the dirt, you know, and chatting with you guys means a lot to me. Right? And that's the only way I can show it back is by putting in hours and playing and hanging out and shooting the shit and through whatever it is like all the emails i've gotten from fans over the years like you know hey bro I, i've been in the hospital for the last four days and you know what i mean like i've been in the hospital for like the last four days my mom has cancer don't know if she's gonna be living or dying like dude all right man i'm gonna get on the stream for you dude just for you man i don't give a shit if it's just you i'll stream for you you know if that's what you're going through right now and that means it means something to you then i'm gonna be here for you Yeah, because you never know who's watching and why they're watching, like I was saying earlier. You never know why people are watching and what they're doing on the internet. It all ties into itself. Dirt with some therapy, bro. Hell yeah, man. Life's good. Sometimes you just gotta look at it a different way. Even if things are shitty, man. Like, I just had a heart attack, dude. Like, I almost couldn't have been here. I almost would have had a had that man to tell you guys I died. A couple weeks ago. You know what I mean? Like, I even... I even, I even struggled to tell you guys that it even happened because I didn't want the support, right? I didn't want to have to feel like, you know, anything like that, right? Like, it was hard. You know, now it's like, you know, I'm sitting there doing drywall and I'm a fat bastard and my heart damn near wants to fucking explode, right? And it's like, you know, now, now it's kind of like, now I'm not forced to come back to streaming. It's just, it's time. Like, it, it, I need it for myself. It is an extremely relaxing game. This game is like, you know, just you just sit back and chill and you just farm and it's all dynamic and different every time when you're digging holes. Damn, when you're just filling the plant with dirt and you don't need to. Yeah, don't do that again. Yeah, man, no. I, I kind of can't. So. That's why we're just going full-time content creation, man. Yeah, life was telling me something, dude. Get back to what you, get back to what makes you feel good and a little easier on the body and
Hanging out with the homies. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, man. I'm, I'm so glad that we're almost done with these buckets, dudes. But anyways, therapy hour. Yeah, there we go. Got a little bit of a heartfeltness on that one. Kind of ramble through about 40 different conversations at one time. Yeah, for autism. Let's go. More buckets. I finally know what the hog fan... Dude, you... How much dirt did you put into that, that bedrock, bro? Hey, look, I made a pair of butt cheeks in the dirt. <laughs> Get wrecked, nerds. 50 buckets. Let's go. You guys were talking about thongs all day. There's a whale tail for you. <laughs> I just hear you need to buy more buckets. <laughs> no. Oh, no. This guy, we're going to, well, we're going to do a cleanup. So my wife is telling me that I need to take a break also as well. So. Ooh, dirt. Oh, the cold air. She's got the front door open and, and the game room door open here. Oh, man. No! St stuck. As I burp into the... God, this taco bowl is fighting me. I'm not going to lie. Phew. Took way too long. I think they added some dirt. I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, dude. Have to wait and see, dude. <laughs> oh, the wash plant. No, come on. Oh no. See, the wash plant broke with like two per. Oh, the other one broke. Oh, okay. Yeah. He shoots and scores. Okay. All right, we're almost done with the buckets. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of a break. My wife's bitching at me about doing it. Yeah, that's the motor for sure. And she's fully right. I do need to take another break. Um, be like five, ten minutes. Just going to get up, go walk around outside for a little bit, get some fresh air. And the cooler just broke. Wow, that's just awesome. Perfect. Right when I'm getting ready to be done with the buckets. <sighs> yeah. And then we're going to go... We're going to fill the rest of these. I'm going to fix these. We're going to fix these wash plants. We'll fill the rest of the buckets. And then I'm going to go grab the... I'm going to go grab the... Uh, Magnetite trailer. I'm going to grab... The, a wave table. And we're going to start that whole process. And we're going to see how much money we got. So I'll be back in like 5 to 10... I'm going to go to break and I'm going to hit the, you know, the hopefully I make money button called advertise. But it seems like most of you guys are all members now because of the savagery that happened yesterday. So I don't think I'll make any money on ads because you're all members and you don't get ads. So, yeah, I think either way, it's a win win, right? So I'll be right back.
Okay. Drop a save. Drop a save. Get this going, dudes. Mm. Oh, nice. Everyone's still here. What do you know? Well, let's uh, take this um, motor off here. Kojo wouldn't be gone for too long. Mmm, chilly day two. Bro, but your cat hates you. Well, hello, little. Little. Hey, where's my thing at? There it is. Like, where's my screwdriver at? All right. Put all these broken parts over here. Cat was at the door when you woke up. Bada boom. I wish I could carry things in both hands. Oh, we got to get a clean out going. <laughs> Made good timing on those 50 buckets, though. Made good timing on those 50 or the 40 or 40 and 48. Sorry, not 50. Meow, I can't take it no longer. Gotta fill up the rest of these two. Be good, dudes. Get this clean out in and Damn, that was a disaster field going through there. Look at that. Woof. Took a chomp out of this. Tomorrow, look, hopefully, uh, this clean out's good, dudes, and we're into tier three tomorrow. Go get two more. My OCD can't handle it. Kim. Okay, that's it for me. Well, it was two hours ago. Nippy, dude, you have a good night, bro. All my buckets are full. I don't got any other empty buckets, man. We got like one more to go. One more bucket. And I don't really feel like moving the wash plants again, so. We're just gonna turn this one off and throw it into this one and then just fill this one for the last bucket. And yeah, I don't think I have any more. I think that's my last bucket. <coughs> what, dude? <laughs> <coughs> You're killing me, Holmes. Killing me, dude. Yeah, what? I demand a recount. Well, we'll find out how many buckets were out here in a little bit. 
Uh, it should be 30. It should be 36 plus uh, 48, right? So it should put me over 75 that I needed. So or 70 plus. I mean, we might have to do more later. I mean, it might not be enough. Could be enough to buy a big chunk of equipment, though. Hopefully. Like I said, we don't know what we were digging in. If we were digging in crap the whole time, then we might have to go for another 20 plus buckets, right? So. So we make good timing on on timing on that on that forty eight though. Once I got away from that wall, the bucket count just sped up massively. Another explosion again, dude. Or is it still popping off? Is that the same one you linked me a while ago? <laughs> All those rocks just fell right down next to behind it. Check the link in Discord. Still going, damn, dude. That's insane, bro. Blink. Come on, last bucket. Hopefully. I feel so lame. I almost had the whole T3 wash one up and running. <laughs> I just went to drill for nuggets. I feel so dirty. Oh, bro. That's bad. You know, you know what's gone wrong when you have to drill for nuggets. 
hundred percent. There it is. All right, all right, all right. Let's go count some buckets. We're deep into the night shift, boys. We had to put overtime in this day. I was just like, where are my buckets at? They all disappeared. By his right, he stole them. It's about as much as I want to do in the tier two, I'll be honest. But if I have to do more, I have to do more. Shit. So we know there's 10, 20, 30, 40. Fifty, sixty, seventy. Eighty. You can't play gold pong anymore. They took it out. Eighty four buckets. Yeet. Yeet. The buckets. All right, let's go get the cleanup stuff. You did it. Can I always go back to the hog fan and crush your soul? No. Let's get some gold. Let's get some gold. Let's see what it is. I wonder what the average bucket's going to be. Watch it be like an ounce. Someone will be like... <laughs> <laughs> You need 16 more buckets. No. Never. So tired of the tier two. Hundred bucket tier two grind is soul killing. Okay, we gotta go smelt a bar. All right, grinder. Enjoy the game, dude. 2.5 ouches each. Whatever, Eric. I hope not, dude. Oh, God. Where am I going? Hell yeah, man. Get that clean out. Pop a 20 ouncer. That's all we need. Let's go 12x. Get that bar made. Get that gold. I'm 
go grab some cleanup gear. We gotta grab a mag trailer. We gotta grab a separator, a wave table. I believe we have all uh, some some power some power cables as well. Or just grab a splitter and no, we have to split it anyways. And then power cable. But yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to. I'll just grab a splitter and then two cables. So we get some gold, dude. After two days, we're gonna get some gold. And the end of the day is coming too, but that's not coming for a couple more hours, right? So I think what we're gonna do is, like I said. Like, what are we going to, what am I going to do? Am I going to dig for the full 24 hours in a day? Or, and we're going to simulate some sleeping? Like, what are, what are we doing here? Like, what, what's, what's the deal? What do you guys think? Like, I kind of want to simulate like a, like a, like an eight hour shift in, 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 you know, like, a, like an eight hour shift, right? You not even though I'm only streaming like six hours, you know, it gives me, you know, in two days worth of streaming, like a full day's worth of work in game. I am 12x at the moment. Mama. Back. No sleep, dig. They run 12s on the show. So if I did, so it'd be, it's okay. So if I did... It's like say two six hour days right of streaming and then sleep the rest of the night till dawn so two streams then then I can sleep at the end of the night in winter or not winter but you know just sleep and go to dawn the next to the next morning because we don't I don't want to eat like this many days of nighttime right like this is just holy crap dude that is just ridiculous man Oh, I forgot to sell my gold bar. <laughs> no, I didn't saw. It's like, where? Where'd my money go? Yeah, that sounds like a good plan, right, guys? Like, so two days worth of streaming, that'll put me at like a 12 hour, roughly, you know, anywhere between 10 to 12 hours in game, which should put me at, you know, nighttime, right? Like it is now, like around nine o'clock at night in game. And then I sleep till dawn. Because my character's tired, dude. He's like... He's dragging ass. He's like, all oh, those buckets I've been carrying around all day. I feel like Thurber from Gold, like the TV show, man. My arms are so tired from carrying so many damn buckets everywhere. Gosh damn it. Probably all just full of crappy, worthless dirt anyways. Freaking Todd Hoffman. Okay, so... What else do I need? Anything else? I don't believe so. Yeah. We got the trailer. Oh, that was kind of heavy. We already have the water splitter. We already have two. There's the trailer. Okay. Should be what I need. It's how strong my character is from moving all those buckets all these years. I just pull trailers like it's nothing. Mm. 
Whoa, out of control. I want to know why there's just a random dumpster over there. Yellowstone is what terrifies me? Yeah, dude. If that thing goes, toast. <laughs> toast. Yellowstone, yeah, they say it's a global uh, world ender. Yeah, man. But speaking of Yellowstone, is, are you any of you guys into that TV show? Or that show? Dude, that show's banging, dude. New season just started up too. Love that show, dude. I know, right? Like, okay. I first started watching the show and I watched like a couple episodes and I just was like, maybe I just wasn't into it or like it, it just wasn't my thing at that moment. But I ended up trying it, watching it again like a month later and bro, I just binged it, dude. Just binged it. Me and Amanda, Amanda even got hooked up into it too. She was just like, it was just like, we just binged the shit out of it, dude. <laughs> Opener was insane. Dude, you should watch it, Shane, man. If you haven't seen it, dude, really good. Great, great show. Absolutely fantastic. Opener was insane, man. Yeah, I was real hesitant on it at first, and I'm glad I gave it a I'm glad I gave it a second shot, man, and then and, and sat down and watched the episodes the first two again and kinda like uh got into it, you know. Super glad that I did. Stranger for Stranger Things four, yeah, man. Hopefully, you know. See, I'm not, I'm not really like big into Stranger Things, right? Like, the first season was like, yeah, cool, you know, right? Like, that was, that was kind of cool. That was, not, that was, that was nice. And then it was like, you know, the, the couple of the next few seasons, it kind of just the season two, it just didn't really give a shit. And then like half of season three, I was kind of like, eh, you know, eh, eh. you know, I, I don't know what it is, man. I just, I don't know. I only need a couple of these things down here, but damn, we got a crate. <clears throat> you all this mess. Who ran all these cables? How dare. All these up here. And what else is there? Yeah, pretty much just been watching Baron Sea Gold, Gold Rush, Whitewater, now now Yellowstone. Shit. Oh, Billions, dude. I just finished watching the, the the latest season of Billions, man. I love Billions, dude. Great, great show. Designated survivor. He 
slaughtered the Cowboy Bebop live action. Oh, they're doing a prequel show to that? That's kind of crazy. I mean, why not, right? It's just the, the lineage of that, that story that we already like. And if they make it as good and stuff and, and everything like that and all the story and everything like matches up fine, why not, right? Like... Yeah, past Keeper Key for Sutherland in it. Should have just brought the truck over here. Oh my gosh, clean out time, dudes. Oh, it's it's one of the biggest shows right now, right? Like they're dominating it. Now, what other shows am I looking forward to? Oh, The Expanse, for sure. Waiting for that. Oh. Love me my sci-fi shows, dude. You know, one thing that I didn't like is the new Picard. Like that, I'm not a Star Trek fan, really, but man, Picard was butthole. Too bad this was the last season. What do you mean? I thought they said they did. Th they're doing. They signed on for three more seasons. Amazon did. They only did one season. What? Why would it be the last one? Say what? Oh, you heard this next season was going to be the last season? The, the last thing I heard before the last season that was out was that they the Amazon signed them on to do three. Three more seasons of The Expanse. So we already had one season and the next one's already been filmed. So yeah, they might there might only be one more maybe. There might, this might be the last season, you know, which is fine. It's It's done. They did a good job, right? Like... Had had a good run. Any guesses on the gold cleanup, dude? Yeah, no doubt. Got to do some guess to clean up here, boys. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! We need some light. Well, we use the truck light. All right. Oh, I did need another cable. Oh, there it is. Whew. Okay. Clean up time. That's it, bros? Bros. What? Really? Two, two, eight, 88? Dude. Oh, what? Oh, 88's my current. Okay. I was like, dude, you guessing, you guessing 88? I didn't, I didn't read the starting part. <laughs> I said, dude, what the hell, man? 83 ounces of mag. 82. That's showing some promise. Nah, 300. I, I'm, I'm probably putting it around 300. I'm hoping. Hoping it's more than that. But I doubt it. Six. Okay, it's going to be crap. God damn it. 69. <laughs> 69 ounces, dude. The mag. 
Seven ounces. Final. Seven ounces. Final answer. Todd Hoffman. Final answer. Seventy-one. Okay, we're we're mixing. Let's get a couple surplus of buckets here, and we'll start the the rinse. Man, dude, the magnetite separator really makes me have to pee. 72. Now we're not getting bad numbers. We're not getting bamboozled. The 69 was what the lowest. Like I said, we just don't know what we were going through. Hopefully they're... Where did I throw that? I'm throwing it. 71. So these are these last buckets that I just did, so could be some wall pay or We'll know if we got into some fire somewhere, right? There's gotta be. Hey, using the Magda Prospect is cheating. Hey, nobody said that I couldn't use Magnetite to prospect where I'm going on my next cut when I get tier three. All right? Cheeky, cheeky, bros. <laughs> so now we know that this area that I'm going in through is butthole. <laughs> so if these buckets are good, we know that the gold is richer on this side. So. <laughs> hey, that's not. No, you, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Damn right, bro. <laughs> it doesn't mix fully in the separator. It still stays bucket for bucket. Only a little bit on the odd, on the odd end. It's good right there. But we're running average pay. All right. Okay. 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 Hey, I'm a prospector, bro. That's why I line my buckets out. So I know what I did in stages. So if I, I know, you know, come on, man. There's a, there's a method for my madness. I stole an idea one leaderboard from Split. Is there though? Dude, most of my ideas I've just fell through by being dumb and then it ended up working amazingly. I'm like, yeah, that actually works, man. Well, just might as well start using that all the time. Like when I blew your mind fi with how to measure the depth of the wall cut with the hose. <laughs> Wait, say what? <laughs> what? You're amazed it reached that far. This claim owner's like, money, 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 money. Now we'll take some 80s. Sure got two wave tables though. Getting gypped on console then.
did I did we say I couldn't use the store? Like unlock the thing over here? I had to go to town? Was that part of it too? They can't unlock anything from the tablet. The no tablet. Dude, my gold is always amazing, bro. <laughs> Sorry for that 69 ounce bucket. Tablet was not discussed. If not, you got workers. Just, yeah, true. True, true, true. My buckets are, are lit, bro. What can I say, man? I have a nose for gold. Is it Pinocchio sized? Yeah, Pinocchio. One fifty coming up. I'm started at eighty eight. Yeah, I should got another wave table. <clears throat> oh, I mean, when everything's running in sync, it'll be fine. I just did a couple extra buckets for no reason. Let that get down there a little bit. Sound of the wave table goes. <laughs> Here at my sleep, dude. The rules you said off Discord doesn't say no tablet. Yeah, I know. Like I said, we would, uh, we, we'll, we'll, oh, what the hell, bro? 59. I don't want to see any more of those. What the, come on, man. What was that garbage? 59? What? Where'd that come from? That was middle cut, so that was maybe up against this wall up here. Bro. Oh. Bro. Gross. Ew. Oh, yeah, I'm getting Hoffman. Looks like we're going to have to do another hundred buckets. <laughs> Damn it. Come on, let's get back to those 80s, please. Let's not have 20 buckets of 50 ounces of magnetite. Let's go. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're going to need like, it's getting worse. Oh gosh. Hopefully the spike goes back to better. It must, it had to have been up in this area. That was just dumpster fire.
Well, we made a hundo so far. What is going on? Damn buckets. They get bamboozled. That's base pay, dude. That's like, that's old Arnold gray squares. No, that's, that's the old Arnold shit shit squares. No. Please tell me I didn't mine all, a whole row of Garbo. There's, how am I supposed to know? Right? <laughs> Damn it. The gold gods were not with me in this cut. The power of the bucket compels me. Come on, buckets. Please, I had to have hit a rich spot. No. Son of a... Come on. There had to have been a rich streak in here somewhere, man. You've got to be shitting me. We can't use the drill. Part of the challenge. We're playing Todd Hoffman simulator right now. And I'm getting Hoffman. Are you gotta be oh my gosh dude no it's all dead ass squares man it's all blind digging dude this is tragic come on man i got it i had to hit some gold somewhere dude I had to hit some good gold somewhere. I mean, some of the buckets were decent in the beginning, but what the, come on, dude. Fifty fours, fifties, fifty twos. Bro. Come here, I need another 50 buckets. Oh, dude, then the claim owner's gonna wreck me too, man. 54 again? Oh, dude. Dude, is the whole, if the whole, the only thing I can think of is the whole half of the side is just bad. It was all base pay. That's why we're getting 54. 54, it was probably 0 0.48 to 0. Uh, you know, 0.56 per meter for those buckets to be showing up like that. That means that's base OA pay. Rough, man. So an 80, uh, 84 ounce would mean I hit a good streak somewhere, but I might've just started hitting the good streak towards the back. That's why those good buckets were good. So we're hoping that these ones over here are good. If not, that means we had literally no good cut. This whole front was all just junk. That means all my gold's gonna be in the back, which is fine, but, oh, now we, uh. 
Rip, 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 rip. 60. All right. Come on, let's start climbing back up there. Let's go, bro. Sixty-five. Okay, okay, okay. That means we're sweeping back through the front of the cut here now. We we're probably in this area, and closer to that side. So hopefully that side's fire. There's no way this whole side was dead. Nothing. Dead strike. There's no way. Uh uh. I don't believe in that. Six three. That means we're in something decent. It's, you know. Six six zero point six a meter is means we're still could be in base, non rich squares. They're consistent there, so most likely they're running a pack. Come on, 10 ounce mag bucket. What, dude? Come on, 100 ounce mag buck. What are you talking about? All right, starting to climb again. Dude, I probably hit like six dead squares. Like average pay. Oh God, it's going back down again. Oh, somewhere there was a convergence in this area where it was just garbage. The odds that I just hit dead. I knew I should have went for the glory hole. Knew it. Knew I should have went for the glory hole. The glory hole never leads me astray. Fifty-nine again, dude. The whole front of this claim could be dead. The whole front of this claim is dead. Wow, dude. The Hoffman special of the day, bro. The glory hole sounds kinky. <laughs> Come on, please. It is. We're striking. We're most likely striking dead. All right. Oh man. It, well, it is what it's going to be. So we just hit, uh, we're almost at 200 ounces so far in the cleanup. We got a little bit of faith left over there. A little bit of hope. Nope. We're going back to 56s again. Well, I guess on a good note, we got all the crappy pay out of the front of the cut. <laughs> Had to be moved. Rip. Fifty six again. That's what's the new Hoffman. <laughs> Dude, what is going on? All of its base. Dude. There's like the whole side is just garbage. Back there, I had some hope. That's the promised land back there. We know it's fire. We know it's fire.
Those last few buckets I pulled out of there were 80 plus, right? So we know that's rich back in that area. There's a rich pocket back there now. We know that, confirmed. All this front stuff is just garbage. Not an Alaskan Hoffman? The damn jungle one, bro? Come on, man. Clearly <laughs> somebody be putting good dirt through my tier three. All that wasted. Hey, how, I, I can't. How was I supposed to know, bro? <laughs> 52s. Oh, man, dude. This is painful. Get back on that T2. I mean, this is all front. This is all front pay. It's all front pay. Not all is lost. It's just going to have to do a little bit more work. Oh my God, dude. I'm going to put my head in this bucket, dude. Dude, I haven't been Hoffman this bad since the beginning of the game came out. Just work. Oh. You want the gold? You can't handle the gold. It is, it is it is painful, but I mean, we learned something though. What it feels like to be oh my god, Todd Hoffman, forty nine. <laughs> Bro, dude. No, it not. It got worse. That just means all of this right here gone. Dead, nothing. Garbage. Trash. 49s. Not for us, great content. <laughs> Wasted one percent. The buckets are worth more than the. I just. I made one Thurber joke, man, and it came true. I'm carrying around all these useless buckets. Freaking Freddy Dodge was right, man. Dude, I just can't believe that the whole front of this claim is dead. Like. The odds of that is like very low. So low, like the odds, right? Like that the whole front of this cut is just garbage. It's like rewatching season one from the actual series. <laughs> oh man. Well, at least we're learning where the gold's at. Not in the front. <sighs> the only thing we did was pass gas.
49, dude. We're going to be calling myself Base Pay Andy after this shit, dude. This, this was the breaking balls cut. I don't know. I well after the claim motor comes in and takes his share. I mean, I'm going to be able to buy a big chunk of the gear, right? But I don't think I'm going to have enough to get set up. Sixty-nine. You know what's bad when the mag doesn't even go up. Oh god, another, another fifty, dude. Please. Do you want a little bit of challenge? Here it is, bro. You know, if I was in hard mode, I probably would have just failed for the first time in playing Gold Rush with this clean out. Like hitting that many dead squares in a row and wasting that much fuel and, and stuff like, whew. I mean, what kind of, what did I, what did I do to deserve this gold? The luck. The luck that this cut was that bad. Come on, 39 ounce bucket. Dude, we're on the last two. That means that's right here in this area. If this struck if this strikes out dead, then that means that the whole front of this claim is garbage. And the only good dirt that we hit was like the last five buckets, which is back there where I'm digging now. Unless the only saving grace would be that the dirt is only running at the bottom here. But it doesn't matter. It's already it is what it is. We just got to Got to take it, man. Just got to run in those yards. 50. Stop throwing the bucket back in the pile. What's crap, you dirt unless Jasper parted. Bro. Yeah, this is this is one of the worst streaks I've hit through. I mean the odds that I do that much digging and didn't hit a, a, a good streak is very low. Right, that the odds, the odds of that, the being the whole front of this claim being garbage is crazy. Those are three ounce buckets, man. Yeah, we know where all that came from too. The very back where I'm at right now. Right, so that, that does mean if all these are trash, that means the only good gold that I have is probably starting right here and back in there. So. Come on, 420. 46 ounces of night tight. I'm not even going to get a full bucket of mag, dude, out of all these. How pathetic that is. Yeah, just pass, just passing 300, right? So three, uh, a 388 would be 300 ounces. Closer to your number, huh? 
Yeah, we just broke 300 ounces on this cleanup. Nah, it was dead. It was a dead, dead claim in the front. I mean, that's good for us later, but just terrible for us now. Right? Rage, bro. Only split can be pissed off with over 300 ounce cleanup. <laughs> oh, man, dude. The whole back of my claim must just be fire. Well, should have prospected. Or should have trusted the glory hole, boys. Even my even my uh, donation thing says it. You know where it's at. It's, it's in the glory hole. The glory hole never lets us down. Butthole. Fast 420. Old Arnold base pay struck to be dead. Struck me dead. Should have gotten him last 16 buckets. No doubt. Those last 16 buckets would have put me into some beast mode pay. Wowzers. Wow. Three forty five. I 
character finally gets to sleep, dude. He's gonna need it after that shitty day of mining. He's like, what? I was pulling some butthole. Holy, I didn't even get one full bucket of mag off of that. Wow. Whoo. That's painful. That means that literally we'll go take a look at the cut here after this. Let's go take a look at the cut right now. We already know it's going to be trash. No five more buckets. My goodness, dudes. We hit... We struck dead. I mean, we struck base pay, right? But... Yeah, that's, damn. Holy. My goodness. Just shy of 355. That means that literally everything from the front of this claim all the way to here... All of this is nothing. It's all trash. We don't know where the cut starts here, right? We don't know where the cut might start over here. But what we do know is that this area was producing high yield gold and or here, right? So here or here was producing high yield, right? Those are the biggest buckets that we had. The magnetite proved it to us that, that those buckets were almost damn near getting to be double what the other buckets were. So the gold is doubled up back here, right? So if we do need any more gold, we're going to focus on this side here with a tier two, but we're going to, we're going to, we're going to sleep and we're going to let the, we're going to let the claim owner do his damage because my character is way past his bedtime and he's worked his ass off and, uh, you know, bury my generator here. Oh man. Oh man. Holy holy. Let's go kill some lights and then we'll see what we're left with. Take a trip to the blacksmith. So we're going to go right to dawn. That's what we're going to do. Because we, we mind. The day's over with. Done. Day's done. Come. Claim owner's coming for that booty tonight. Yeah, dude. No doubt. All right, everything's off over here. Oof, man, boys, we got uh, we got base paid hard. That's shocking. I've never dug a front of a claim out blind before and had that bad of a number. Like legit, I've never had both sides of the front of the claim gone like nothing. I have seen this cut pattern before though, but I've never dug this cut pattern, right? So. All of this being bad, or not, not Mark, I can say bad. It was the average old Arnold pay, right? Just the average OA pay. So this was all bad. It was all just the average OA dirt, right? All this. And the only thing that started getting good was back in here. So now we've kind of prospected as well as dug a massive cut. You have more golden hopper. Yeah, it's just, it's not gold. It's just uh, some dirt. OA is coming for uh, 106 ounces, dude. Oh, let's go for it, dudes. Here it comes. Mm. First day is in the books. Boom. <sighs> Yikes. First day. But in almost 10,000 yards. 353 ounces. Mind. And he took 106.2. Oh. So for 84 buckets, it was almost 10,000 yards. All right. So we're left with 336 ounces and
That is shocking, man. That, like I said, we were in base pay the whole time except for the last five buckets. Le legitimately, the last five buckets we ran. Oh, I got to grab the mag bucket. Take the mag. Don't forget it. This is the best thing that came out of all that gold. At this point, might as well pay off the loan. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to pay that off. We're going we're gonna to go pay that off, and then we're going to go turn this thing, upgrade the blacksmith, and um, talk a little bit about what we're going to do tomorrow, because tomorrow we're going to play again. <laughs> Sell the mag for more money than the gold. <laughs> Bro, I know, dude, right? Oh man, that was crippling, dude. That we struck out that hard in the whole front of the claim. That's so true. <laughs> Bruh. I I just can't believe the odds of the whole front of the claim being base pay, right? Like I thought I swore I was gonna hit a pay streak in there within that 75, 80 buckets, right? Like I, I would have swore that that we would have hit that somewhere. We would have hit something. At, at least a good 50, like 25, 30 buckets, right? Like at least that many would have been good. Nope. No. It was all base pay, Andy. It was all bullshit. It was all <laughs> it was all average OA pay. Thank goodness old Arnold does not have overburden. Yeah, well. Next time I'll just have to do what I know works best and let's go towards the back, right? Like, we know in the back of the cut. So let's take a look at that. Let's actually take a look at the uh, gold map here. Oh, wait. So we just dug out, like, all of this is gone. So that's, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn near like 25 squares of dirt from here, all of from here and all of this, right? Cause here's the bend, right? So that's where that cut kind of came into, right? So right, all of this from, from here and all of that is just, it was garbage. It was all base pay. It was all that 0 0.49, 0 0.5 and some of the better stuff being 0 0.6, right? It was all teabag material, dude. Oh, dude, the, the odds of that, though, right, bros? Like, the odds of that? Hitting that many squares and all of them are base and not one of them is actually a cut? That's, that's, that's... <laughs> Whoo, that bites. All right, so we're going to go for... Let's see... Bigger bar. Oh, see how much the mag is worth? Sorry, I should have actually done that. The mag is worth... The mag would have been worth roughly 35,000. I might just go for the extra bar size right off the bat. Or actually, it might go for loss because loss is going to save me a little bit of money on the bars, but it's not like it really matters. It, it really doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, we struck dead, but we're still in a decent spot for, you know, 12 hours of play, right? So plus off and on streaming, just sitting there talking, but we'll cut it down to like nine hours. So yeah, not, not bad. Not the bad. It could have been better. And that's probably why we weren't getting nuggets either, because none of it was rich dirt. So we were grinding the base nuggets, right? The, it, I Something seemed odd. I knew it did, because normally, normally I get, I have, by the time I'm at 80-something buckets, 
I, w- I have like 350 ounces in nuggets, right? But I was like 100 ounces short in nuggets. So, yeah, that's that would make sense if we were just in all booty pay. That would make sense. Let's go gold loss. And the cost. Oh, don't have enough for that. Wait. The value hasn't updated, I know. That's what I was thinking. But the value didn't update. There it is. I was like, wait, what? It didn't take it? It didn't. Okay, I just had to exit out and come back in. All right. So that means we can now smelt a larger bar. We can go 80 ounce bars. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's go take a look at the store. I mean, rock truck's going to be brutally expensive. It is what it is. Right? We're going to give this wash plant the hot Hoffman special rock truck be like a hundred and two K $96,000 dude. So just the wash plant alone. <laughs> okay. Oh man, dude. The shit shaker. One day I'll be able to afford you guys. So just the wash plant, I might have enough money for that. I'm not gonna be able to afford an old Arnold Trommel. Okay, we can definitely cover that because the gold's gonna be worth more than that, right? So, yeah. Plus we have to buy the slot, right? So let's just do that can't do it now but we have to buy the slot oh i can sell my small excavator that's a little bit of cash but we can we have to upgrade the slot so that's 20 then we have to transport everything over oh it's gonna be tight but i might not be able to even afford to buy all the mats and stuff like that it's gonna be so damn close right like i gotta buy mats why well, don't one thing i don't gotta buy is buckets so it'll be close we'll try to make it work tomorrow if not, we have to jump in and rip out some more more buckets, get some more gold. Hopefully, hopefully, crossing our fingers, we get a fat, a fat nugget, right? Get a good twenty ounce nugget that we don't have to pay for. Um, yeah, we should be, we should be at some point tomorrow. We're gonna be running tier three, right? So, with the rock truck and double duplexes and everything like that, right? So, four forty with everything. Yeah, it's a lot. I mean, we might have to do some more grinding, rip some more buckets, upgrade to better stuff. I mean, I really don't want to uh, run more, more, but I mean, if the gold is, if we know, we don't really know for sure if the gold's going to be good. Smelt before signing off. Ugh. Should I? Yeah, let's go. Let's go rip the gold. See how, let's go see how much money we're at with the end of the day. 
My character's a little pissed off today. He's like, and look at him. He's like, fucking bullshit. Stupid ass old Arnold base pay shit. My arm's all kinked out sideways from sitting in that crappy excavator all day. It's just, I'm about ready to do the cripple drive by on somebody. Some bullshit. Man, all those squares base paint, dude. Bros. Bros. My dudes. I got I got Hoffman to like 20 something squares, dude. That sucks. That's that's a ripperoni right there. Oh, and the cost too. That's <sighs> yeah, painful. Painful. <clears throat> I might have to throw down like another 10 buckets tomorrow. Like first thing, first thing out the gate, throw down like 10 buckets. Damn, dude. Should have done those extra buckets, man. Should have done them extra buckets. All I know is this 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 wash plant's going to be tearing through some good pay. Oof. Oof. do that backside over there well yeah the backside had seven seven seventy plus so it's a rich spot over there for sure right so if i dig just in that area for like maybe 10 buckets you know it should be another 35 or so all that hard work so little gold Just go punch out the glory hole. No, it's it's getting late for me. I'll do it. I'll do it in the morning. Our character's tired, dude. He wants to go lay down in this little shitty trailer, dude, and cry. Okay. I wonder if the bottom had the gold. Me too. I mean, I could, I mean, tomorrow I guess we could we could do some testers. I could take a, a wash plant down there and uh, run some bottom pay through there, like a bucket, and then go test it. Not tired. Just wants to be alone to cry. <laughs> hey, you guys got what you wanted. You happy now? <laughs> Can't even smelt on my gold. I'm so broke. That would suck if all the gold was legit right at the bottom. <laughs> Come on, man. It was just inches away. Oh, man. Now she's waiting for me patiently. That 50 bucket grind was, can kiss my ass. That's a rough day finding out that everything you ran was base pay and not one square was rich. Oh, sorry. One square of it was rich and it was the last square that you did. Like, come on. Come on. Makes me want to go buy 20 drill holes, dude. Spend the 15k and buy 20 drill holes.
I swear, if I hit a 20 drill hole and it hits the spots that I already drilled, or I didn't, or I already uh, played on, or mined, and all of it was at the bottom, I'm gonna be pissed. Now, we can't go back and revert it. We have to pay for it, right? They just said I couldn't drill for nuggets. Should I pop 20 chat? Yes or no? Should I buy should I buy 20 drill holes? <laughs> One nope. Two yeses. You tell him, Shane. <laughs> PV and Nighthawk, yes, no OA. Oh gosh. Fine. God damn it. At least my truck has flames on it. At least my truck's got flames on it. Hey, you wanted the challenge. <laughs> yes, I did. You were right. Come on, smelting. You're wasting half of my day. Let's go. I mean, I'm just gonna have to get what I can, and then just dig for the rest of it. We still have the T2s. We know we're in some. We know we're in some gold. That's all right. All right? We know. We know we're there. All right? We were just. We just didn't get. Didn't get quite there enough. Just bad luck. It's literally, literally, all it boils down to is just bad luck. I mean, yes, I could have taken a sample bucket. And been like, okay, no, it's just dead here. Right, done a cleanup as I go, but hey, man, this was way more better, right? Was it better to just wait on the cleanup till the day? Or would you rather me chase the gold down and track it down and figure it out where it was by cleaning up as I go? Obviously, I think it made for better content. You know what I mean? It was just, it was just bad luck. Well, you know, there's nothing else I can say about it. It was just bad luck, man. Way better to wait. That's what, the pain is so much more exciting to watch. <laughs> I mean, we just we just went for straight yards yards right and buckets right like, and whatever it was gonna be is what it was gonna be you know and well that's what happened. Like I said, what, what can you really do, right? I took a pretty good chunk out. The whole front gone. Yeah, I'm not going to get drills.
Dude, I don't have enough. Even for what was in the store. All right, wasn't it? No, what? It was like 300 and something. Nope, go more. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. You gotta be shitting me right now, dude. Fucking bullshit. Oh crap! Damn, dude. So that's that's the the big generator, and I still need to add the. I can't loan. I can't loan. There's no loans. We ain't. We don't get take loans. So I also need cables. I need grates, cables, um, everything. Right. Loan, pay it off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, pay off that loan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the initial one. Yeah, it's only a couple hundred dollars. It's not much. Like it's like it's like a thousand at most. With the rock truck, it's four hundred thirteen plus the twenty, plus the transport. Oof. Oh, God. Dude, T2 again tomorrow, man. Shit. I'm going to need a lot of coffee. My character's mad. That's it. He's going to beat off. He's going to go play with his trommel. Dude, I know. I can't believe I struck. Dude, I'm, I'm about ready to go for bust and go into glory hole. I'm going to park my two freaking wash plants right in that glory hole. And I'm going to make a giant fucking donut tomorrow. That's it, dude. Bullshit. I got, dude, I got bamboozled. That was the biggest bamboozling I think I've ever had as far as luck in this game. <laughs> 20 something squares, dude. Blind digging. Not one of them is rich. Like, what is that? Like, the whole back of my claim has to be gold. Like, come on. Yeah, after the claim owner took 109, 106 ounces. Like, look at this. Just run that thing over. Don't even care. All of those squares dead. Dead, dead, dead. I'm gonna, you know, dude, if I swear to. Damn it. I'm gonna have to come back here. We're gonna have to keep, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to chase the streak. We know, we know there's some good buckets back here. So we gotta chase it back here. Have to. There's no other, there's no other, I can't do anything else. The only other thing I can do would be don't get the uh, the jigs and just run the run the boxes, right? Like, because that's gonna cut seventy something thousand dollars off the total. But I still have to transport and I still gotta do all that stuff. But yeah, it looks like we're back in the tier two tier two tomorrow. <sighs> all right, well, it's gotta be good pay if I'm running tier two. It's gotta be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the tier twos over here tomorrow and I'm going to stack them over here and I'm going to run a strip all the way back in here. We're going to see if this second cut will be the savior cut. And it's, it's got to be. I mean, we got to pull we got to pull gold out of here, right? We got to we got to go and I might I might have to clean as I go. I don't, I don't Well, no, we're risk it for the biscuit again and get bamboozled. <laughs> right, right. Like, is that what we're doing? Yeah, these ones were 80s, so hopefully this is a good cut back here. So tomorrow, yeah, it looks like what we're doing tomorrow is we're just going to run like another 
20 buckets. We're going to have to. There's no other choice. We, we struck dead on the front of the claim. I mean, it sucks, but what can you really do if you don't have the, the drill, the drill the capability of finding that? And, you know, I mean, I could have cleaned every bucket to know I was kind of going to a bad spot and stopped going that way and maybe punch somewhere else. But, I mean, maybe I could have played it a little safer and went towards the back and started back there instead. Uh, where we know on average the gold is a little higher. The, the spots are a little bit better. Go the buckets you have. And tomorrow... I'm not going to run another 80 buckets. Dude, if I ran 80 buckets tomorrow, that'd be slaying. That'd be slaying. Because it took me that long to get all that done. With breaks and stuff like that. No, there's no way I'm doing 80 buckets tomorrow. There's no way I'm doing 80 buckets tomorrow. Because then I'd have to take... I'd have to take Thursday off completely. If I did 80 buckets tomorrow, I'd have to take Thursday off. Because that, that's, that's a lot. That's like a 10-hour stream. Just clean out the very bottom, you'll be fine. You think if I brought the tier twos down here and I started mining the bottom here? That the gold be good down there? That's a that's a that's a that's a that's a gamble. And to do it with no front loader. That is a gamble. So what you're what you're saying is is that if they weren't dead squares, they were only dead from the top down to the down to here. So you're saying that there could I mean, you're right, there could be, but the chances of that gold all just being from here onto bedrock on OA is not very likely. Because OA generally never has good pay right on bedrock. Just do Mike's 1080p and do five buckets stream, dude. Drag this content on for four years, dude. Let's go. And <laughs> Shan shovel five bucket test. <laughs> we'll go get that pan out, dude, and start. Okay, there's like five more flakes in this than there was the last one. We're going with this spot, dude. No, we could try. I mean, what do we got to lose, right? If we come down here, we got to clear this up anyways, right? Like, it's got to be cleared up. It's it's hard digging. It's shitty digging. I hate being on bedrock with the hoe and having the the excavator, or the wash plants down there with me. I hate it, but... I mean, it's all got to get cleaned up anyways. You know, so, I mean, maybe what we can do is we can do the cleanup cut where we clean up the bottom for the first part of tomorrow and we come in here and clean all this up on the wall face clean all this up and we clean all this bottom shit up with the hoe and then we'll we'll run it and see what happens if it's any good or if it's bad or you know and then if it's if it's if it's crap and we still don't have enough money we'll run some more upper I mean, it won't take about an hour. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long. It's mainly just getting them into position and just slamming dirt into them. I can climb up on here somehow, maybe, and get them close. But yeah, we'll just we'll just rip it in. I mean, I can I can track it at the same time. If I had the front loader, it'd be done in like forty minutes, thirty minutes. But we don't got a front loader, so that. <laughs> No front loader, and I ain't buying one because that's a huge chunk of money. That's a fat chunk of money. What is it, like 120K? I mean, eventually I do need a front loader anyways. And don't even say it, Matthew. We're not running the front end loader up the top of the damn hill. We're not doing it. Ain't happening. 
We're not going back to 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 month one of Gold Rush the game, dude. Ain't happening. Yeah, front end, I will need the front end loader. What, okay, okay, that's an option. If we're mining more tomorrow, should I just buy the front end loader? And then just if I if I run the front end loader and I put them down here on flat ground, I can clean all of this up like no time flat and be just pumping buckets out. So that's an option. We could go with a front end loader to clean up all this crap. And we, this has got to be cleaned up anyways, because if I'm running tier three, how's the rock truck going to get back here? I'm going to have to go on the bottom of the, the hill, or I have to keep my little teeny excavator down here and my large excavator up here. So that way, because I can clean up the bedrock so my rock truck can get up against the wall face. And I because I don't want to run rock truck on top with the excavator on top too. So we'd probably, maybe we should just take a little extra time and just make tomorrow, uh, go grab the, go grab janitor Jimmy. Dude, front end load the wash plant, dude. Sell the small X, buy a front end loader. All right, my boys. Everybody who's watching right now, that's still, that's, it's, that's not lurking. Tomorrow, first thing, front end loader. Right? 126,000 is roughly what we need, plus trans transport. Plus, we got to unlock a slot. Store yes in chat if we get that, or we go grind for keep grinding with the tier the just the tier twos and go for tier three. Yes or no for the front end loader. Yeah, like a hundred and fifty k, dude. Everyone's like, fucking, you're going to suffer in tier two split. Fuck you, bro. <laughs> the ex small excavator only sells for like, like 9k, dude. Yeah, and the front end loader is like damn near half of what I just got. Like, phew. That's painful, dude. Like these decisions are painful when you have to pay full price and there's no renting, right? And you're not drilling faster T2 loading. Is it worth it to grind out the buckets for the full plant? Yes. I mean, the only problem is that I'm going to run into that's going to be annoying is if I don't go with the front end loader, I'm going to have a problem running my rock trucks at the speed that I'm used to running. Because front end loader is a massive part of my gameplay style to clean up the bottom of the claim. Plus what you get at the bottom will probably cover half of it. Yeah. I mean, that does seem, it does seem like I have to clean the bottom anyways, right? Either I clean the bottom with just the excavator, which is fine. I'll do it. I can, I can do that. That's no big deal. Or I go spend $150,000. So if I'm running Jimmy with the front of the, if I'm running Jimmy, I won't need to move the wash plants. I can just put them up against the wall near the wall face and just pull out a massive amount of gold out of there. So those plants will always be running. That means my bucket rate per hour is going to go through the fucking roof. Right. I don't need to move the wash plants anymore. I can just make a little cleanup area and I can move the wash plants down, set them up once I get all this garbage cleared out of here and I can just take and like say I can put the wash plants right here. Right. So I'm going back and forth loading. 
and I can just blast out this whole front in like probably less than an hour. And that should be like another 30 buckets or something like that. Like relatively quick. Because if, if their wash plants are just running constantly and they're always running pain and I don't have to move them at all, then yeah, I mean, let's just go with the front end loader tomorrow. Fuck it, right? Who cares? It, if it adds an extra day to my grind, isn't that kind of the point of me doing the save, right? <laughs> right? So... Yeah. If not more. Yeah, we'll just go for the bottom. We'll gamble on the bottom. Whatever, we'll do it. So far, we own the big excavator. We own the small excavator. And we're going to go... It's a piece of a, it's a piece of machinery regardless that we will use to for the rest of the save. Right? We will use the front end loader for the rest of the save. It's one of my main web my tools. Right? So, it's going to be used regardless. And yes, it does OA does have a lot of overburden on the top. It's a lot of base pay at the top. So, this could just be fire. Like this could just be fire right here. I mean, this could all just be like 8 0.80 right like it could be just fire and I, I couldn't get to it I just couldn't reach it and so yeah only way to tell is get in there with that front loader tomorrow and start wrecking it out but that's what we're gonna do so we'll, we'll start with uh we'll put two of them down here we'll clean this out and we'll strip all this clean and then we'll put them right here up against this wall face and we'll clean all this out and we'll move our way back there and so that's what we'll do for the day tomorrow. And then whatever time I have left, we'll just keep running Jimmy until we just fill up an immense amount of buckets again and and go for another cleanup. And then after I'm done with that, I'll probably have like another 200, 200, 200 300 ounces and hopefully some more nuggets will come back in. So that's another thing too. Some more nuggets might pop in. We might get like a 20 or 30 or 40 ounce nugget. You never know, right? So there's always that. And yeah, no, no big deal, right? Reckon you'll have uh, 400 tomorrow. Yeah, we'll run a big clean out tomorrow. We'll, we'll run. We'll run. We'll keep these things fed for hours, man, with Jimmy. Because when I push them together and line them up, man, I might even go get a third. And what I'll do is I'll run them in a in like a little arc so I can pull up to it when I drop. It'll clip both on the two, on the sides and the middle. So actually middle, doing the doubles works a little bit better. The triple's a little hard. It's a little hard. Uh, doubles are easier to keep full all the time. Triples are, triples with the front end loader are a little, is a little wonky. But yeah, getting those buckets popped out is what needs to happen. You get this cut the most? Yeah, it's trash. This it was, I've never had the whole thing just be garbage like that. But, all right, dudes, it's been good today. It's been fun. I appreciate you guys coming in and hanging out for almost seven hours. Like a, a minute short of seven hours. Hopefully the stream was a lot better today watching as far as the, the quality goes. Tomorrow I will do the same thing again. I will try to make sure we get the transcoding um, down. Um, let's see here. We had a couple donuts today. Shane with the Twondo. Xantox with the 10. Dude, thank you guys very much for that. All the follows. I'm not even going to name them off. There's so many of you guys. That came in. Hopefully, I, if I missed a follow or something like that, dude, I'm sorry, guys. I tried to catch him. If I couldn't pronounce your name, it's because I'm dumb. How do I know if I got transcoding or not? Uh, the cog wheel at the bottom will let me know. It'll be multiple different um, resolutions instead of just one. Lately, it's just been source 1080p 60 FPS. Um, it's a random luck of the draw because if because I'm not a partner, so I'm an affiliate and. So all I got to do is in the beginning of my stream, if you see it starting and stopping, that's me trying to get the transcoding for you guys. So that way everybody if on a, everybody that's on a phone or something like that, it'll automatically scale to what their internet can handle and they won't buffer as bad. So we'll try to make sure that we do that. Which OBS am I using? I'm using the 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 max dot one, the, the just updated, I've just updated the other day. Trans, transcoding is on Twitch's side, guys. It's not on my side. That's the service that Twitch provides. Bring.
Scoot type. Thank you much for the uh, follow. Scoot type. <laughs> I was like, what? School? I thought your name was school. Scoot. No, I don't use stream elements. That shit is fluffy as hell, man. That shit takes up way too much uh, resources. Yeah, I I use um just the I use the classic um OBS studios and I pay for the the premium one. So that way if I have any problems with it or anything like that, I can just get instant support. Yeah, I don't I don't I I used I I tried Stream Elements and I tried Streamlabs, you know, and they they put so much bloat in there on on your on your compression and everything like that that it just ends up making you use way more resources than you need to. So I ended up going back to uh just classic for a while, so or classic and it it's always been running trusty rusty, so but I can't I can't like I said, I can't do anything with about the transcoding. That's that's all on Twitch's end. All I can do is make sure that I have a consistent bit rate and everything like that, which that's all taken care of with my internet, so Everything's good to go. Uh, did my research to figure out how to make sure I got it and and all that stuff. So, yeah, it's just it's it it's weird that Twitch does their transcoding that way. You, I've never had that problem with my streams because I always was streaming on YouTube and transcoding is well, I'm a partner on YouTube, so I guess I would already have those features. But I think everybody gets it on YouTube that's a streamer. So it's uh yeah it's kind of odd that you guys have been saying you've been logging so bad and i do apologize for that but that is completely out of my hands but i'm trying my best to get that uh to not happen so we'll try to we'll try to prime up the stream so that'll be if they start and stop in the beginning that's what it is tomorrow so that's me i got lucky today the first one was actually fine so i got it on the first one so i was like woo sweet yeah it's, like i said it's just the cell phone people that have you know low data connection and stuff like that which i have a lot of a lot of viewers that watch on cell phones and tablets and stuff so Something like that, but like I said, we're working on it. We're trying to get that, uh, you know, partnership, but it could never happen. If not, oh well. We'll just prime it up, and hopefully, uh, Twitch gives out more transcoding server space to us. So that'd be nice. But dudes, yeah, I'm out, dudes. It's been fun. Much love. Appreciate everybody for coming in, and hanging out. I will be back tomorrow, my same time, twelve o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And we will get rolling like we did today. Other than that, I'll be in Discord tomorrow before stream, chatting it up, taking a look at some stuff, and all that good happy crap. Eric, your damn PS4 sucks butthole. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm out. We're wasting daylight in the game, and my character needs a lot of work tomorrow. So, okay, take it easy, dudes. Peace out.